What's up, Weed Whackers? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today I'll be attempting to make it to Lava Ridge Town after foiling Team Aqua atop a fiery mountain. How are we, boys? I'm good, Joe. I feel a little funny after the grimace shake I got in Mackey's the other night, and the details of how I got home were a little fuzzy. But Lord Grimace's juice tasted divine. How are you, Barack? I'm good, brothers. I just finished picking around the farm and locking up for the night. My cottons got absolutely destroyed. It was a tough working day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your cottons got destroyed, Barack. How are you going to sell them now? Why would I sell my trousers? I'll need them for work. Their deep pockets are great for holding my pills. Oh, Barack, we've been through this. Donald and I really think you need to seek help. Just because you've been sucking ass at Pokemon doesn't mean you have to continue taking ecstasy. You know, I meant my focus medication, Joe. Nice to see the rich and rowdy racists are both with me here today. Can you both believe we are 11 episodes into this marvelous journey? Isn't that insane? We've come a long way since Little Root Town. That's true, Barack. I've been thinking about the growth and changes I've gone through since we started this adventure. Life sure is short, ain't it? The hell are you talking about Snorlax? You literally haven't changed at all. You're still ass cheeks on a platter when it comes to this game. And you're still a choice banded asshole as far as I can tell. Did you gain weight? Is that what you mean? I honestly can't tell since your whole body just meshes together like a muck. Well, at least I still have all my vital body parts functioning, unlike your kidneys, lungs, left nut, eyes and ears. I'll have you know it's my middle nut that doesn't work, you imbecile. Numbskulls, can you get along for five seconds, Jesus Christ? I was thinking maybe we could play something else soon just to freshen it up a bit on the channel. I'm sure game producer Six would enjoy the change of scenery. Who is that guy? He sounds like a glizzy guzzler. Guys, if you want Joe to regain his memories, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribing will save his family from being held hostage. And if you send us a pic of your credit card, as well as the three funky numbers on the back, we will send you a nice MS paint picture in the post. I did not agree to any of this. I would love my family to be massacred ASAP. No Rocky. All right, I recant what I said. Let's face it. The only thing Joe is playing with is little boys anyway. So why do I even fucking bother? I might just play around with your emotions if you keep disrespecting me. Remember who's the goat here. If I have some spare time, I might even play around with my middle nut. Isn't it dumb that in Sapphire you have to fight Team Aqua on top of a fiery volcano? How the hell does that make sense? To be fair, both Aqua and Magma have ridiculous motives for their evilness. How would flooding the world fix its problems? Isn't global warming doing that for us? And making more land isn't going to fix shit. Overpopulation is going to catch up quicker than a Jolteon. Smoke these runts, Snoopy. You have a fair point, Barack, but for Spinarak's sake, the viewers don't come here to be reminded of their impending doom and how the Earth is globally fucked. In the next 100 years, they come here for the content, the plays, the laughs, the cries, the Jews. No one comes here for that last one, Donald, you Dorito dust sucker. Yeah, you are a dirty toe sucker. I saw what you did with your dog the other night. Cringe. Anyway, I'm going to pop my zigger in the front. Motherfucker, what? Just to give a variety of monsters some screen time. As the newly crowned go to the team, I'll keep our levels balanced so you choke artists don't ruin the fun for me. I am literally not even that bad. I am literally the greatest. I am literally in the Pokemon League. I am literally getting a sore back from carrying you buffoons. You are literally gay, Donald. You are literally a shuckles asshole, Donald. Even if my Ziggur gets burned here, I'm pretty sure Drill Peck still kills this noodle bitch. You are edging me with a wiggly tough Joe? My ex-president gets edged by kawaii thick pink jiggly wiggly bunny girl. Prank, gone wrong, gone sexual. Amateur just turned level 23. Won't last 30 seconds. I see you bought my new Playgirl CD, Donald. I'll be sure to try and squeeze the orange juice out of you tonight. No homo. Run it back, run it back. Uh, let's see. I'll be sure to bounce on you like Hop Pip and Leaf Blade your left ass cheek relentlessly. Super no homo. One time for the one time. Close it out, Barack Chan. Uh, uh, uh. I'll focus blast your dad until he faints. Come, Barack, come! You should have wanted my dad to come. Damn it, I was doing so well. By the way, boys, did you see the comments on the last episode? I know we asked for your hot takes, but some things were said in those comments that should have never been spoken. Yeah, the craziest one was the guy who said the physical special split was a mistake. What the fuck kind of ganja was he smoking that night? Sure, it screwed over some Pokemon like Sceptile, 
But they should have just given him better moves in the generations after. But others like Absol, Sneasel, and basically every special ghost type were saved by the change. Not Donald. I agree with that guy. The craziest comment I saw was from a girl. That already fucked me up, knowing whatever this bitch said would make her look like a clown. Come on, give her a chance, Joe. What was her hot take? She said Black Lives Matter. What? I know, I couldn't believe it either. All lives matter, don't they? Ah, uh, I see, I see. You're saying black, white, brown, orange, purple, and even gray-colored skins matter. Good on you, Sleepy Joe. Well, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Donald, mainly because your fat ass would start eating it. But white lives matter the most. I don't want a hard life. I don't want to be a slave. I don't support the working class. I don't want to end up like Barack, who works tirelessly on a farm every day, likely because of his skin tone. I'm not saying the farmer is racist, but I'm just saying that might have been a factor going in your favor during the interview process. I didn't even do an interview, Joe. LOL low. Well, there you go. Case closed. Duskull emoji. Wait, Joe. Shouldn't you heal before fighting Archie? He might have some weapons of destruction in this fight. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, you're right, Donald. BRB. Here you go, Joey McSucky, or whatever Donald calls you after dark. You got this. If you start losing the fight, just push Archie into the gaping pit of lava behind him. Have some trust in me, Barack. I'm practically invincible. I'm going to hit him with the one-two, then proceed to buckle his shoe. You don't even want to know what comes after three and four. You'll sleep with some whores? Nope, I'll sleep with some boars, which could possibly be Archie's first monster here. Oh, God, not Fappy. This thing is no joke, guys. Prepare yourselves. Shut the front door, Barack. We are over a fire pit, so I'm about to cook with Snoop. I'm whipping up a freaking clutch dub, and he's sowing the Mary Jane seeds as we speak. Bulk up will boost our defense to the point that if it happens to have a super effective ground type move, Snoop will live that shit 1,000 times out of 10. I'm kind of glad we got rid of Vital Throw for Rock Smash. The fact it made Snoop go last hurt his sweeping potential, but we still have double edge in the bag to Oko any punk that gets in our way. This goon doesn't stand a chance. We don't have enough bulk ups to sweep anything right now. Everything on his team will take two or three rock smashes to kill at this rate, so my suggestion would be to hit a double edge, then double dip. My suggestion is to stop gargling love balls every time you play Barack. But who am I kidding that won't stop you from your guilty pleasures? I fucking love when 21 Joe is in the building. His savage mode hits super effective every time. Osama! A la snack bar. Did you just say snack bar, you thick, fat, say, titan-built fuck? Go back to blocking up bridges in Kanto, you gargantuan snoring prick. Do I have to pull out my flute to wake him up? Actually, screw that shit. I have a battle to focus on here, you idiots. Just ask for my OnlyFans later, and that should relinquish the thirst. I am the hottest 18-year-old on OnlyFans. Don't forget, Joe, you have day one there just chilling. Rain-boosted water pulse from Save Me Will Slash Sand Slash his ass into the grass. I expected Archie to be a bit stronger than this, not gonna lie. Doesn't Sand Slash look like he's pointing at his ass? It's like he's saying, penetrate me, Mr. President! Oh, yeah. I hope your house gets fucking seed-bombed, Donald, you terrorist. Anyway, Joe, get comfortable while you can. Once the trainer's Pokemon start reaching 35 or 40, I can't remember which, they will start having forced, fully evolved Pokemon. That means they could have started off with a Dratini that gets forced evolved into a Salamence. We gotta watch out for that difficulty spike. Whoa, why are they being forced to fully evolve? You have to consent to these kind of things, Barack, you Sharpedo looking ass. Consent is badass, don't forget it. No one consented to your birth, yet here you are, you Moo Moo Cheese Gobbler. Joe, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that Snack will eviscerate this man Tyne with a thundershock, or Day One would end the bloodline with a T-bolt if you so desire. So many powerful options. I feel complete. Ah! Thank God this shit is over. You played well, Joe, I must say. Omega sus and a little bit of cringe salad on the side. But overall, you drowned this wet bastard more than my escort from Monday morning. Why a Monday morning escort, you in denial throat go goater? Gotta start the week with a bang, literally. As I said, you boys will see the light and how the hose will make you feel a special way. It's something that marriage or true love or any other type of voodoo bullshit will never be able to give you. Love, love conquers all. Love is the answer I've been looking for. Ah!
I swear to God, get me the fucking exorcist blade and I will use cut on Joe right here, right now. Giratina has fucking taken over his body and I'm the only divine human left. You're lucky you monsters don't get shoved into my pockets right now. I don't play no game, boys. Holy shisa, that was some heat you were packing, Donald. I can't tell if the fire gym is nearby or if that's your freestyle going off. Good shit, brother. Flames shall gather around those that you adore. Mankind shall repent for their sins. <laughs> Joe, my motherfucking Ziga, are you fucking good? You've been spouting nonsensical shit for the past minute. And I was trying to pay you no mind, but I can't avoid it any longer. Yeah, baby, I'm good. How about you? I'm just going to kill this latte ass's ass real quick, then get my encounter for the root. Is that okay? Is that a crime? Will someone pat me down and search me for something explicit if I commit to such a heinous act? The only thing I'm patting is me dad. Rest in pieces, you ugly cucklin. Okay, of all the references in this series, that by far is the most obscure one. Viewers, I apologize for that. I wonder if our editor is suffering burnout or he's getting so tired from doing these videos weekly. Who knows at this rate, all I gotta say is that he is the real life equivalent of Draco Meteor hitting a cliff ferry. I swear to God, Joe, you better not gain a transformation in this episode. Barack last time caused a simping side of me to appear that I wasn't proud of, quite frankly. Plus, it's not your power-up arc yet, son. You know what? The Moltres molester has a point for once. You're still in base form, Joe. See, that's where we differ, Donny boy. I don't need a bullshit-ass pull power-up to be the god of this game. All talent, no luck, baby. Let me show you what separates the men from the girls by flawlessly catching this next encounter with absolutely no issue whatsoever. Wow, you weren't joking when you said this encounter separates the men from the girls, Joe. Oh my God, it's Pika Blue. Wait, I'm so confused. What's Meryl got to do with having a divide between the inferior female and superior male gender? To simplify it for your pea-sized brain, Donald, Azuril has a 25 to 75 male-female ratio, while its evolutions have an even split 50-50. Because of the way gender was determined in this generation with personality values, female Azurils have a 33% chance to evolve into a male Meryl. Quite a phenomenon to witness, but Azuril is the only Pokemon capable of doing this. It was also patched from generation six onwards. TLDR, a third of Azurils grow a penis upon evolving. That's the fucking best thing I've ever heard. Why is that the best thing you've ever heard? Stay away from the blue mice, you prima Donald girl. All I ever wanted was the world Joe. Let me ask you this. Would you do anything for me? Or perhaps buy a big diamond ring for me? The most I would do for you is commit euthanasia, and even at that, it would cost you a trillion pokey dollars at least. Shit, that's actually a freaking sweet deal. I'll take you to the dick ick shop. I'll let you lick my massive cock. What? The fuck? fuck? You ain't ever heard of Nifty Fifty. You boys need to get a life. Go outside, breathe some fresh H2O, you dummies. You want us to fucking water breathe? Bitch, do I look like Tanjiro? You're more like Inosuke, and Joe is obviously Zenitsu. Welcome to the party, dick shop. Anyways, boys, I have my comment question ready. Today's question is, what is your favorite Pokemon event? It has to be linked to an actual in-game event. Mine is the Vic Teeny in the Liberty Garden from Black and White. I think it's fascinating that there are plasma grunts on the island searching for this little fella. Then once you find him and catch him, you realize just how freaking awesome this dude is. His presence guarantees victory and literally always puts out a peace sign to assert his badass behavior. I freaking love him. Vic Teeny is an adorable little guy, I will admit. Mine is Birth Island from Generation 3. Landing on an island with no music is quite a surreal experience for a Pokemon game. And all you have to work with is an overburnt Dorito that keeps slipping and sliding every time you interact with it. Once you figure out this wacky puzzle, Deoxys runs up on you and shows you what it means to be a legendary in the world of Pokemon. I'll never forget hearing that theme for the first time. Come on, boys, let's be honest. The clear winner is Arceus from the Hall of Origin. You play the title screen selection soundbite, then the actual title screen music plays, and you start to ascend the fucking stairway to heaven where you come face to face with God himself. 
He then challenges you at level 80, no less, and proceeds to be the most difficult capture in the whole franchise. Walking above Spear Pillar for the first time was absolutely surreal. That was a good one, Donald. Your choice was absolutely putrid, Joe. I fucking hate Gen 5. Wait, Joe, I think we still have a rare candy in our bag. We can evolve Dick Shop straight away if you use it on him. Don't forget, we have an egg in this town, too. I know, I know, and I will be sure to fish in the hot spring as well. As long as the fishing line doesn't get caught in that old guy's G-string again, we should be good to go. The more I hear you talk, Joe, the more fuel my nightmares gain. You obviously can't fish in the hot spring, you idiot, but there is a hidden item in there. Wait, really? Lure balls? Dive balls? Saggy balls? Which one is it? I think it's the rare STFU balls. I see them all over TikTok and Kick Cock lately. Anyway, I think you should leave the gym for Donald next episode, as Flannery will definitely cause your Mount Moon to use eruption if you try and fight her. I would erupt in her moon so hard. Just feed Dick Shop the goddamn drug candy? You're just trying to promote your own products now, Barack. Nobody buy his Max Mindstorm mushies. They're crusty and overrated. What a coincidence. Just like your Smegma Donald. From Dick Shop to Dick Gobbler, we got a final evolution, but at what cost? This blows Pidgey PP. I prefer Fennec and Phallus. How dare you diss this happy boy? I wish I called this man Robbie Lyle because he literally has a freaking dub imprinted on his forehead. Dub was so big I got it tattooed on my foreskin boss man. You mean forehead? He still has pickup and he just learned a decent fighting type move. Is it really that bad of an Evo? Well, let's give him a fair chance. Stats are everything right, Barack. Let's just see how good his defenses are. I know you value those two stats, in particular, you serial killer. That wasn't even a Pokemon pun. He just called Barack a serial killer. What the fuck? <laughs> Boys, he is going to turn fucking inside out and start writhing in pain the minute a leaf touches him. Holy shit, I have literally never seen a worse special defense stat. A starving African child has more defense than this thing. And that's why they call it a blue waffle. Wow, that was possibly the lamest flipping story I've ever heard. Are you serious? I walked 500 miles, then cycled 500 more just to be the man who traveled a thousand miles, and this is my reward. Here, doggy doggy, come and deliver me the sweet embrace of death. All right, you proclaimer. Electrike isn't actually that bad. He has one weakness, which is ground, and he's our first electric type. He could evolve into Raikou, or Zapdos. So keep your hopes up and he might just be worth it in the long run. What is with all the goddamn electric dog type Pokemon? You have Jolteon, Raikou, Luxray, Manectric, and fucking Yamper. Why can't we have more electric birds? Or an electric mole? Or an electric mobile phone or something to keep the kids invested? If they made a phone Pokemon, that shit would be outdated in like two generations. Anyway, quick proposal, Joe. You should head back up the mountain to talk to your mama for lava cookies. They're literally cheap-ass full heels, and we can buy a boatload of them now to save our money in the long run. I hear full heels are taxed in the Pokemart. That's why the cookies are so much cheaper. Again, this is just something I heard. Definitely not something I can 100% confirm and say that I'm involved with at all. That double entendre was absolutely nutty. Of course you know all about it because you're a snaky tax evader, but also because you're an obese cookie monster fuck. What a bar. Wait, who said what about chocolate bars? I'm interested. Lava cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one. It's just 200 pokey dollars. Thank you, dear. Obtain the lava cookie. USA, put away the lava cookie in the item's pocket. I actually cannot believe he fucking read that text box 187 times. Why did you read it so slow and agonizing every time? More importantly, why the hell did you read through so many times only to click no? That was literally the biggest fucking waste of time. It's all about the immersion and the dialogue, boys. If we breeze through this game, we will miss the best parts in a heartbeat. I don't want to rush through this adventure, because before we know it, we will be standing atop the pillar of Hoenn, laughing down upon our enemies. And when we reflect on our adventure, I want us to reminisce of the best moments, you know? Joe, hitting deep, late in the video, part always. But in all seriousness, I get what you're trying to say. Before we know it, the series will be over someday. So let's enjoy the ride while we are here. 
I actually want to put it out there that our editor has plans to do a big giveaway by the end of this series. The details aren't set in stone yet, but if you're interested in what it could be, make sure to join the Discord. It could be a voucher or a gift card or something he's not too sure yet. GP6 doesn't really care about the money gained from these videos, so he wants to give back to the people for getting him this far. Invest back into the channel to keep it growing. You feel what I'm saying? That sounds pretty nice of that dickwad. Good on him. It looks like one of the requirements for the giveaway will be to subscribe to the channel and join the Discord. So make sure you all do that now while it's fresh on your mind. Screw you two. I'm not subscribing to no one. My sole subscription is to the one and only Markiplier. Daddy, daddy, Markiplier. Okay, shoot me with a Pokemon gun. You calling it a night, Joe? Yeah, that's me beat for now, guys. Thanks for joining me today. No problem, Joe. And good plays as always, you smoke those grunts harder than a smokescreen. Pure, unadulterated facts, Donald. See you later, boys. What's up, my inside out gore abyss snatchers? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode, Joe surprisingly played competently enough to not let anybody die. And today, the greatest Nuzlocker in the world, AKA myself, intend on doing the same. What's up, boys? I'm good, Donnie. Just home from shucking a boatload of corn on the farm. How are you, Joe? I told you to stop sucking a boatload of cum barack. That stuff is nasty. Plus, I'm sure the other farmers will rapidly start to get jealous of your slurpy skills. Besides that life advice, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Had a nice healthy breakfast today consisting of ass cheese, buttery toes dipped in milk, and a slab of Marmite. My energy levels are through the roof today, as you can tell. Whoa, easy there on the shouting, Joe, and may I say that breakfast sounds disgusting. Marmite, what the hell is wrong with head chef Paul? How dare he serve that to a man of your stature? I'll whoopity scoopity his ass next time I see him. No Kanye needed. No, you just killed the baby teeniest dick. How could you, Donald? I loved him with all my heart. Joe loving baby penis dick? Is that what I just heard? I can't even act surprised anymore. How are you never locked up for this shit, Joe? Why do you think I wanted to become president so badly? Yeah, I was running to be America's greatest leader, but also running away from the popo in 56 of the current United States. Literally, my first day in the office was spent hiring secret spies and agents to catch the bodies of the cops who had any leads on me. Then I cleared all criminal convictions from my name, and here I am today. Yes, here you are today, admitting to all of those crimes on YouTube's biggest gaming channel, whilst continuing to say stuff like, I want bomb head from a dusk noir. Gonna nickname him Sloppenheimer. Baby PP, pee, pee, Dicky Bo, watch out. Spare his teeny weeny ass Donnie, I beg. Which part of dusk noir would even give that sloppy toppy? The top head or the stomach head? Ask Grovile from Mystery Dungeon. Him and Dusk Noir were hate-fucking every second dungeon. A part of me loved it, and another part of me creamed over it. Hey, yo, what did he just say? Look, it's Reggie Cock. Which one of us has the best Reggie impersonation? Who wants to go first? All right, let me go first. I've got this. <coughs> what the flittle fuck was that? If there was a Reggie Payne or Five Nights at Reggie's, then that was a perfect impersonation, Joe. But Flamigo Balls, that was not even close, son. All right, that was a gosh darn joke, Reggie Bomba. Let me try again. Reg, 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 Reggie Ice. There you have it, folks. There's your comment question of the day. Who has the best Reggie cry out of the three of us? Also, don't forget to leave your impersonation down below. Make sure to include as many funky symbols as possible. That's a great comment question, because now that means we have less time to pad out for this video and the viewers get like four or five minutes of extra smack talk from the three of us. Isn't that sweet? Wait, don't you have a giveaway or something to talk about, Barack? I thought I saw that in the script for this episode. I fucking knew this shit was scripted. There's no way you hobos would intentionally be so trubbish at this game. Oh, shit. So my amazing viewers, on behalf of all three of us and our editor, Game Producer Six, we have decided to do a giveaway for you guys to pay you all back for the amazing support and love you've given the series. As we said in a previous video, we want to give back to the awesome community by doing a few giveaways, so this episode will mark the first one. There's a few steps that need to be followed, which Donald will explain, since for some sick fucking reason, he's your favorite character on this show. Joe, what's up for grabs this time around? Well, viewers, you're all in for a treat. 
This giveaway will feature Donald's secret cum sock signed by his mother. Yo, what the fuck? Boys, that is too far. You fucking snitched on me to my mama and she agreed to sign that shit. Man, fuck y'all. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Though some of our thirsty viewers are probably disappointed now. Anyways, no joke, we will be giving away five zero dollar gift cards. This is all thanks to the loving supporters on buymeacoffee.com forward slash game producer six. This is the main way our editor is able to fund this series, and so he can purchase extra PlayStation 5 controllers, which is one of the best controllers ever made. Fuck the Xbox Pro controllers. If you own an Xbox in 2023, you need to get you life in check, you bum. You said it, Joe Jonas. You ancient American dragon. Microsoft fell off after the 360, and that's a goddamn fact. Anyways, as I said, somehow Donald Dick Inhaler is our two-time viewer champion, which freaking disgusts me. Viewers, how could you betray Joe and I? Young Goose here is the fucking pinnacle of corrupt nationalism and genitalia warping. And for some reason you all- Reg, 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 Ice! Well, I guess I am the only human alive now. Joe has now joined the dark side. Ivy sore shit. Wait, does that make me Darth Vader? A white-skinned fellow wearing all black? Obama, I am your daddy. You fucking massacred that quote like a masquerade. Donald, please explain the rules before I pull out the twin iron hands on this sucker. All right, all right. Here's how to enter the giveaway. Step one, put a 44 Magnum up to the side of your temple and pull the trigger, Persona 3 style. Step two, once the cops find the dead body, they will proceed to burn you to sacred ash and spread you across Joe's front garden. Step three, Joe's infant puppy will proceed to launch Dog Dookie at your cremated ass so that all three of us can laugh our asses off. Only then will you be entered to win one of the five zero dollar prize cards. I know that sounds like a lot for a zero dollar giveaway, but I guess if you want to generically help the series and channel just a like and a comment will help out too. Sharing is also incredibly underrated and I bet your bitch ass wouldn't be able to share this video on X or Facebook or Reddit or Bebo. You need to heart more of my posts, Obama. Anyway, good luck to all viewers entering to win the illustrious gift cards. It will be rigged just like the election, FYI. Is anyone even surprised anymore? What would you guys do with the vouchers? Probably wipe my ass with them since I'm literally the president. Just to clarify, because Donald is a belly bolt fuck, there will be five winners for this giveaway. So realistically, your chances of winning any of these vouchers is pretty high. Next time we do a giveaway, you will have to be a member of the Discord. So make sure to join that now if you want to keep up with the episode previews and be included in future giveaways. Well spoken, boys. Now time for a gym battle. Time to rock this bitch around the Christmas tree. Shut up about Christmas. You going to start using beat up on your Santa Conda right now, Joe? Oh, fuck. Where's Donald's come sock for a second? <laughs> we forgot to point out for the audience, but this gym is rock type in case you couldn't tell. All I have to say, Donald, is that you know where the giga drain button is. So clicker that thing until the cookies come rolling in, you grandma clicker. I know you're my clicker, right, Barack? I thought you boys were ziggers. Did something happen? Can I just clarify, I am not anyone's clicker or zigger? Shut the fur alligator fuck up. That shit was never funny and never will be. Joe, you reshi ram cracker looking ass, if you call me a zigger one more time, I will permanently zig a fucking bullet through your skull. And Donald, you zangu zigger, why the dippity shit are you using dragon dance with snack? That doesn't boost your giga drain, and you ain't one hitting this soul rock. I'm doing it for the quickness, Barack, to make sure our snacky snack moves first. I'm going to need more speed than Joe at the weekend with that fresh Colombian snow. Speed? Yeah, I love I show speed. He's my clicker for real. Did anyone see his schlong last week, by the way? That shit was insane. How could anyone miss it, Joe? It was all over X and Facebook. Even my mother saw it, though she commented on it saying his dick has gotten smaller. I don't know what she means by that, but ha ha ha. Let's forget about that, shall we? Shit, it's on Facebook. I meant, did you see it on the hub? I had to claw through like 300 pages of BBC to find that thing, but it was well worth it. You're lucky, Barack. At least at every family get together, you get to see his magnificent sausage with perhaps a bit of simisir sauce, no homo. Focus on the fight, Boizel. One unsuspecting ground move and snack will shrivel up and disintegrate in an instant. Oh God, it's the eight frenzied dick monster. I told you we are better off as friends. You're a nightmare. Oh, so he used to hide under your beds and tickle you at night too? Ah, sweet, sweet childhood. Prediction of the fucking century. 
Now Donald is getting his snake tickled by the pickle dickle monster. Joe, you really are the MVP holy wiener schnitzel. Where would we be without you? Probably getting whipped on your farm, Barack. So thank goodness for my graciousness. What do you mean, Joe? That's my 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. shift every Wednesday. 11 hours of straight whipping. I'm going to evolve into an all creamy one of these days. I swear to fuck. And when that destined day arrives, I'll cream you. Ha ha, get it all creamy, I'll cream you. Anyway, enough about my spongy soap. This gym ain't shit. You can tell Flannery is a noob. If she had a Swampert or a Don fan, I might have been worried slightly. But right now, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to fall asleep tonight, knowing Cray Dickey will be watching my every move. Oh, yeah. Swampert, my favorite fucking rock type. Just because you want a mud kip to roll out over your gyro balls doesn't mean you have to say it out loud, you and bread, idiot. Hold the mother freaking row, Tom phone for a second. I just got a ducking huge wave of nostalgia. Does anyone remember the Bloody Biscuits Lil Leap only run a Pokemon Emerald? The series itself only has like 2K views, Max. But holy shit, that guy was definitely one of the forefathers of Pokemon challenges and Nuzlocks. He's obviously more well known for his Kingdom Hearts speed runs and challenges, but he also would play through Pokemon games without using healing items and under leveling his team. Jesus Christ, I know I'm old, but fucking bite me, that was an ass blast from the past. Sorry folks, the ads are over. We are back to your regularly scheduled shit show. Donald the Shield Don Shagger has decided to choke the battle once again. Who leaves a Torkoal in versus Kaboo Tops while the rain is out? I guess I gotta make this last spliff count. What is bro smoking? Snoop is big chilling like a villain. Hyperfang is a powerful move, and realistically Sky Attack is too risky to use in a Nuzlocke. Go ahead and teach our little Chihuahua that, Donny. As long as you don't make tricycle hyperfang your right ass cheek, then of course, Sleepy Joe. Caterpie cock. Never mind then. Delete that move, you edging electric bastard. Hey, Donald, where did your car go? Huh? Lol, lol, lol. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to talk about that today, but I guess you heard Obama. Well, after I ran over those seven Chinese kids, I had to roll my favorite McLaren into the Earth's magma core to dispose of the evidence. Of course, the genocide of their entire family was then carried out, but I'm a little sad about my whippity whip getting burnt to a crisp. We lost a real one this morning, boys. Whipping it. Oh, God. Balls. Wait, slow the nippity fuck down. That all happened this morning. What the conk? Donald, when were you going to tell us all this? Preferably never Barack, but hey, it's not like anything can be done about it now. Flanny still has Joe as her second name. I thought I told her after our divorce she had to drop that shit. Damn it, Flanny, you immature, hot-headed linchpin. Her name is Flannery. Why do you keep calling her Flanny? It stands for Flat Fanny. Screw you, Flanny, you Flanny fiddler. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I still love you, baby. I'd give you the hydro pump any day, the new TM50. The reeds! Donnie, did you see that? Did you see the reeds? Donald! Yes, Barack Oscara, I did. I'm gonna hang on to Hydro Pump, but it's great to see day one and Snack can learn such a powerful move at least. Again, Snack defying the fact that he is a physical sweeper part, always. But let's just see what type of moves he learns on level up. Good call, Donnie. Another win under our belt and we are officially halfway through the adventure. I guess you can nab the fossil in the desert, fight a couple more trainers and then end off the video there. Next episode, I will face my father in our toughest Pokemon battle yet. Obviously, my in-game father, not my real-life one, still waiting on that milk. I would love to milk May's Magmortars while she takes a fossilized shit on my ancient power chest. Wait, don't let her get away. Head after her and ask her, would she be down for that Donald, would you? Make yourself useful for once. I will absolutely not be doing that. You're going to horny jail right after this episode, Joe. No, don't send me back there. Should I go back through previous routes and fight some more trainers before the upcoming gym battle, Barack? Otherwise, this episode will be shorter than usual. And I don't want to start the gym before your turn rolls around. Hmm. My only issue with that proposal, Donald, is that the previous trainers will be such a low level now in comparison. Power creep is hitting the hoe in region pretty hard right now. I actually think you should go ahead and battle a couple of the gym trainers in Petalburg City. Why not? It's not like I would have had issues with them anyway. You can go up the left side of the gym and pick off a few of those trainers, and I'll start the next episode tearing up the right side. It would be more effective for our team levels and money that way. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan, Obama man. 
I'll be sure to revive this fossil before heading over to our poppy's gym. I love the fact that the one time the player character actually has a father figure in a Pokemon game, you have to whoop his ass to continue the story. That's more ironic than an iron leaves. Nice to see that awful Marmite breakfast isn't affecting your bars today, Joey. Chef Paul better get his shit together before I tangle his ass like a Tangella. Wait, you guys have got it all wrong. This breakfast wasn't made by Paul. I fired his ass last week like a Charmeleon. What? Why did you fire his smexy ass? Well, you see, um, remember the last time you were going on about having Toro's cunt served with a side of Paul's balls? Funny enough, that was exactly what I had for dinner that night. I figured they just cut open his sack and marinated his testicles in some spicy barbecue sauce and served it to me. I was sadly mistaken. Turns out the chicken legs and chicken breasts that accompanied that dinner were actually just Paul legs and Paul breasts. So I went to his funeral the next day, respectfully walked up to his coffin, opened it up and whispered, you're fired, buddy. I then yeeted the coffin down the church steps and ran like it was Pokemon Dash. How many people have died since we started this series? I'm genuinely concerned. Speaking of dying, look, it's your wife. Remember when you threw for content and choked in that May 2 fight, Donald? Ha 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 good times. Oh wait, no they weren't. You Musharna muncher. You literally left it in versus a psychic type and expected it to live. I still get a little depressed every night, Donald. Never forget. I'm actually grieving here over Chef Paul Barak. Have a bit of fucking respect, will you? I'm so sad to hear that he passed Joe. Who is the new chef of the White House? Well, Barack's brother, Andre Rush, is back temporarily. He actually updated the formula on the pills I take for this series. His zinc shots hit different, let me tell you. His back shots also hit different. That's actually how I got that famous scar inside my asshole. What? Joe just said that was your brother, Barack. I mean, send a snap of the scar or I don't believe you. Hey, yo, I noticed neither of you fungus fuckers said no homo after those statements. Joey McBlowy is suddenly concerned. I see you picked up my favorite TM rest, Donald. I officially give you permission to nickname a Pokemon after me and teach it rest. No, Joe, don't fall for it. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me, Joe. You want to make a binding vow over it? Oh, what the hell? Sure, buddy. Great success. I will be sure to save this crucial vow for just the right moment. You will regret having agreed to this, you old hag. Found your glasses, Barack. Thanks, Mr. McBlowy, but please break that vow right now before it's too late. Sukuna has been trying to entice me into a binding vow for weeks now. It's something got to do with this playthrough, but I'm not foolish enough to agree to anything that fool says. Call off the agreement, Joe, I beg. Huh? What did I agree to just now? I can't seem to remember. Gosh darn it. Man, I sure do love abusing those with memory loss. Yippee! That's one point for Gigantamax D. Don't worry, Joe. I've got your side on this. I won't let Minimize D follow through with his dastardly plans. That's very sweet of you, my homie know me that I've known since the dawn of time. The fact you would die for me means a lot. I never said that! Just a quick question, though. Who is Joe? Seriously, why do you strangers keep calling me that? Wow! This actually isn't a stunt this time. He's straight up forgotten who we are. I feel bad for you, Obama. Well, this episode has been nothing but a load of cloth shit. Impidimp dick. There's no redeeming it this time. Yes, sir. The Donald episode redemption arc has begun. Let's freaking go. Come to Daddy D. Kippers. I don't know what this chode chomper is celebrating about. Another fucking water type. Like, for fuck's sake. Let's grab Snack by the Behind and five other water types. Call it a rain team. Can't wait for this muddy rubber blubber to evolve into another whisk cash or horsey. The only acceptable evolution at this point is toilet bird. Gang, gang, we eating it up, bitches. I have to agree, Joe. We are in the fucking slums when it comes to type variety right now. Water and normal are what we specialize in. And at this rate, it's looking like a liability more than anything. What has more water, the entire Earth or the President's Pokemon box? Well, the Earth has Africa, so I think we win automatically. Not to mention that the other stars of our team aren't even good against water. Day one has Thunderbolt and high special defense. Yes, but if we come up against a Kai Ogre with like 200 special attack and bubble, we might as well get anally horn drilled for a millennia straight. Snoop gets smoked against waters, and not in the way he likes it either dog would get turned to literal dog water too. Osama is pretty much our only option, so let's hope we don't get a water type gym. Well regardless, this gym is actually pretty free except for the leader. 
Most of the trainers here will waste one turn setting up using an X item. So if we actually got water here, day one would sweep with T-Bolt. No diff. You can also evolve Kipper with just one level up, Donald. So we might get a great monster at the end of the day. Let's not lose hope you eradicate Bilt Chub. Well, at least I don't let sludge bombs drip out of my asshole like yourself, you pea-sized shrewdel sucker. Let me see what horrible typing this gym is. It is definitely water type, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yep, uh-huh. Fuck. Fuck. Well, look on the bright side. Our strategy of sweeping with day one should work on most of the trainers. To be honest, Daddy Norman might have some unevolved Pokemon that won't be able to dish out a lot of damage, even if they happen to have stabbed super effective moves. I want to say this is in the bag, but knowing you knob gobblers, you'll end up losing someone one way or another. Oh, I would literally kill to have you call me Daddy like that Barack. Do it. Do it and make me feel complete again. Maybe in an alternate timeline, Joe, where we end up playing through Fire Red or some shit, but never demand either of us to call you daddy again. I'll make like a cartana and slice your ass up in a second with this metal. Barack, did you forget you flailing, failing homosexual that you are the one playing next episode? If someone dies, it's a direct result of you fucking up, not us. So much for being the 49 Nuzlocke and Cumshot champ. Oh, you want to fucking go, Donnie boy? You want to start pointing fingers and using blame thrower, you M bore chunk? I'll scoop your body up like a vanillish Afton style, baby. Start stuffing you into a mimic you suit and spring some traps on your ass. Ouch. Did Donald's attack get cut in half because that was a fucking burn? Will of the mother freaking wisp type of burn, baby burn. Disco inferno dancing ass. Respects to you, Jojo. Not only are you possibly my prodigy and goat when it comes to Pokemon gameplay, you're the sickest and slickest hype man. Oh, Barack, son. Does this mean we are besties now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you jump the fucking gun, you gibble gooch sniffer. Come back in 2,000 years to see if you're worthy, peasant. Really? You two are arguing while Kipper is evolving? Have a bit of funking respect. You want respect? Here's your bitch-ass respect, Donald. Oh, look. Kipper evolved into fucking Donald micropenis Trump Ketchum. Oh, wait, no, that can't be because he's too skinny to be Donald. Even if it was a whalerd, he would look like a dot in comparison to your humongous or Venus sore penis vor looking ass. <laughs> Are you mad, Barack, because I declined your bestie requestee? I'm sorry, it's just I value my besties to such a high degree that it's only a limited circle of friends. You have to really prove yourself to get into this cool Klux club. Donald is in that fucking circle. He is more circle than the figurative circle itself. Chill, Obama. Oh, my Lord. I won't chill. You chill! Uh, good work today, Donald. I'll catch you around, bestie. So that's when I plunged the knife right into his back. I let it slide down his spine and proceeded to munch on his intestines until he finally stopped writhing in pain. Oh, hey there, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Pocket Monster Sapphire Version. Last time, Donald absolutely smoked Flanny, even though she was a rock-type gym instead of fire. And today, I'm going to be putting my father in a body bag. I think this has to be a record. We've scarred the audience already, and we haven't even started discussing anything yet. Since you never even asked, how are we doing today, boys? I'm fine, Joe. I'll never be able to eat any intestines ever again after that story. So thanks for that, Barack. But I guess I'll have to just start replacing them in my diet with some more McDonald's apple and cream pies. How are things, Barack? Oh, it is lit today, boys. The za I picked up last night from the plug went absolutely stupid. I'm still higher than a raging bolt right now. The little sparky woof woof is evolving. It better not be pure bullshit type. Oh my God, fuck yes, we finally get a Pikachu. Come to Master Joey. Wait a goddamn second, that looks like Pikachu. He smells like Pikachu and I bet he tastes like Pikachu, but there's something off about this guy. Go ahead, Joe, you sack of Smeargle Smegma. You've got this, I believe in you. Wait a second, this chick is kind of decent, not gonna lie. She's got great defenses and HP, above average speed, and okay attack. I think this is the first time anyone in history will say this, but I actually think we will find this puzzle useful. Quiet down, Barack. I'm trying to use Calm Mind here for a second and find out what's up with this funked up Pikachu on the screen. Wait, I've got it. He's meant to be blue. Pikachu and Ruby and Sapphire is blue with minus signs on his cheeks or something. Case closed. I will sear plus signs into your cheeks now in a minute, Joe, if you don't boot up that brain of yours soon. Ha 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 Cheeks? Like ass cheeks. I get it, Donald. 
You're freaking, geeking, fucking, clucking, and sucking hilarious, my brother. What do you say I call up an armor rouge tonight and get her to fire off a few armor cannons at us in the bedroom, huh? Would you boys be down for that? <laughs> oh, you guys are into Sarah Ledge bondage. That's why you're being so quiet. Let me dial up the nearest strip club and see where that gets us. Barack, we don't know how to tell you this. Uh, actually, why the fuck am I beating around the burning bush that you're smoking? Donald and I are concerned for your health. Um, also, we're worried about our team for the episode, mainly that, but 5% of us combined is worried about your personal health. You've been smoking more and more blunts as of late, and if we want to win this Nuzlocke, we feel like you should be giving it 100% like Donald and I. We hope you understand our words. Y'all are jealous of this turt wig I be burning. That's it, ain't it? What if I don't comply with your pathetic no drug rule, huh? What you gonna do about it, you whiny ass bitches? Barack, grow a pair and start acting like a grown-up, will you? Our dad is literally awaiting us to challenge him, and you are puffing the crispest cabbage I've ever seen in my life. Why can't you ever smoke when it's Joe and I's turn? Why is it always when you're in the cockpit? As much as I love Pitt's cock, Palutena is where it's at, boys. I'm just going to park that there before my kid Icaruses start uprising, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Splurge is murking this Gyarados, so let's all just calm down. The Abominator has got this. No more risky plays, okay, Barack? I just need this crit, Joseph! All right, this was bound to happen. Everybody say goodbye to Splurge now. <laughs> Rest in peace, my son. Well, the comments are going to have a fucking field day. Barack is officially the worst player out of the three of us. Man really did drop bombs. Hiroshima looks tame in comparison to the killing spree he's been on. Fraud Bomber is back on the map, boys, reminding us all that he sucks cast form snug little balls on the daily. Let's freaking go, you amateur. Oh, God, you're so right. Audience, I sincerely apologize for not keeping a freaking ditto alive. I know you all wanted him for our Elite Four team so badly, and for that I truly deserve the biggest Dunsparce cap there is. Oh wait, no human on this planet actually gives a shindiggity shit that Splurge died. At least now Joe will stop forcing viewers to call him Captain Splurge after locking them up in his basement. What I do in my spare time is irrelevant right now, Barack. Sure, Splurge was weak, but for a generation three ditto he put in work, 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 work. Rihanna-style baby, he transformed my life into something meaningful. I loved him, guys. I really did love him. Well, if he was such a beast, why didn't you call him Jimmy Donaldson, huh? Clearly that didn't fucking help. Ditto is as worthless as Mr. Beast himself. Huh? Who are you? I'm Mr. Beast, and for every Pokemon you keep alive by the end of this battle, I will give you 10,000 Poke Dollars. Well, walking bestiality, you finally show up. You have no friends here, and this time I'll beat the brakes off you like a mock bike. Nobody will save you from my destruction this time. Yo, Beast Boy, what's up? It's been a hot minute. How you keeping? Oh, Donatron, how's it been? I haven't seen you since our private jet race. Still using double team to avoid those taxes, I presume? The student really has become the master. Nanda Toe? Donald, you know my sworn enemy, Jimmy, a.k.a. Mr. Beast? How did this come about? Also, watch this solar beam. It's going to get nominated for Pokey Play of the Year. Christ, where do I start? It was back in the early days of the YouTube while I was sucking on a blue chew. 2009, I want to say... I entered this competition for a small YouTuber back then. Dude had like 10 subs. Anyway, it was a challenge of something along the lines of walk along this tight rope above a 50,000 feet drop and win $5 million. Me and four other guys entered. They all died of fall damage, and I made it across after about six hours of focusing as hard as I could. That's why they call me OJ. It was the purest concentration. I didn't think the little shit would hold his promise, but lo and behold, that ended up being the first ever Mr. Beast video, and is what made me a millionaire. Is this true, Beast from the East? It's true, Joanna. I warned Donnie's friends to wear the feather falling boots. Of course, I had to remove the video when YouTube updated its policies on showing dead bodies on their site. Thanks, Logan Paul. You ruined it for us all. Quiet down, Mr. Bitch. I have family business to take care of here. If you choose a move other than Thunderbolt, Mr. Fraud Bama, then I will call off the 80 assassins that are stationed outside your home. Obama, you don't want Jimmy's smoke? He probably has his 80 most try-hard subscribers outside your gaff, ready to quick scope your ass across the grass with a red camoed intervention. Please listen to his requests. Do you think your empty threats scare me? I fucking dare you to try and shoot me. You will never penetrate my 40-foot fortress. 
I'll send the pin missiles out after I deploy the spikes on your ass. Please, Barack, you're acting cringe. Just let this fur alligator die to his own parish song and Gohan beast mode will let you live. If not for me, for the viewers, please. Boys, I was destined to duel Mr. Beast for decades now. It was prophesized that his monopoly on YouTube would be overthrown eventually, and I want to help Game Producer 6 reach that goal. Enjoy that gym badge, Obama, because you won't be alive to see it much longer. Wait, GP6 doesn't want to surpass anybody on YouTube. He does it for fun, remember? What? Guys, he's behind me, isn't he? Guess it's just you and me, Donald. How are you, my handsome guy? Piss off, Joe! Good news, boys. I just got a critical hit on Mr. Beast in real life and one-shot him. Bad news. I have nowhere to hide the body, and I have no idea if it's safe to ever leave my house again. Joe, can you get the military to help me out or something? Surprise! Mr. Beast hired a squad from the Army through me for the day. They're only camping outside your house for 24 hours, then you'll be safe. Well, hopefully my Grubhub order gets here without getting blown up like an electrode. After acquiring Surf, so many new encounters become available. Make sure to teach Boo Boo Surf. He's starting to become one of my favorite mons we have. Great stats, fantastic coverage with poison, water grass, and dragon type moves, and solid typing. Yes, he will get imploded by a vine whip, let alone any other grass move. But as long as we play it safe, he could actually put in some real work throughout the rest of the game. Plus, we can actually get our encounter here in Petalburg by surfing. We have another possible new recruit down south on Route 105, then again on Route 108, then finally, our last capture on the abandoned ship. Not to mention the plethora of items we can get along the way. This is going to be more exciting than polytoed pussy. Drizzle all over my face, you slimy frog. Great analysis, Joe, but you're incorrect about one thing. You cannot get an encounter surfing in Petalburg City. Yes, you can, Barack. No, Joe, you actually can't. Yes, you can. You can't. You fucking can. You fucking cannot! Easy, guys. Holy lumbre tacos. Is it really that big of a deal, Barack? If you're certain about your statement, just surf around on the water tiles until Joe is satisfied with the results. How about that, huh? Can you two numb nuts grow up and start acting like the adults you're supposed to be? Ugh, fine! One eternity later. All right, Poochie I'm satisfied with that. What the real purpose of that test was to make sure your goofy Draco Vish looking ass got used to the swimming controls. This ain't no Majora's mask. The swimming isn't easy after control. So I wanted to make sure you were capable for the seven seas we are going to need to traverse for this journey. You made me surf around for six hours straight just for that? Go make out with a maw while for me, Joe, will you? You rat a tat a bastard. Is that meant to be some sort of punishment? I hope that kawaii little kitty chomps my ass into the next generation. Pokemon piss and Pokemon shit. Shut up and counter time! Corvy Knight, where's my Tinkaton hammer before I whack this wacky racer back onto the Saturday morning cartoon slot? The OG Spike Setter. This man was a menace in gold and silver. His triple layers were so tasty back in the day I'd call him onion. Also because he was commonly ran with Celebi in Ubers. Rest in peace, you fucking onion fairy. Donald, I swear to Christ, if that is you using your entraining future sight to tell us Osama dies by the end of the series, I will fucking turn you into an onion fairy. Even I cannot see if that death occurs or not, so please do not speak any further. Ah, uh, um, haha, -ha, what are you gonna call this little guy, Barack, my lover scrubber? I'm going to call him Super, after Super Scarmory the YouTuber. As if Bloody Biscuits wasn't nostalgic enough last episode, I took a little dive into where Super Scarmory is at now, and apparently they stream on Twitch as the King of Zeal. Scarm, if you ever get this message, I just want you to know you were one of my defining Pokemon Let's Players back in the day, and I hope you're keeping well. I've accepted you are pretty much never returning to YouTube, but as long as you are doing something happy, I'm 100% glad about that. If one of the viewers could try and pass on this message or something, I would really appreciate it. Damn, that was emotional, Barack. I feel nostalgic about this guy, too, even though I've never heard of him. Thanks, Joe. How about we make that our comment question for this episode? Viewers, who is your favorite PokeTuber ever? My favorite has got to be Wolfie VGC. He's the type of dude who would show you memes on his phone, and you would sit there and laugh at every single one. Dude is a pokey pimp. 
He consistently performs well in tournaments, makes great YouTube content, and it honestly feels like he knows the games better than the devs at times. If I heard he was a play tester for the next games, I'd be at peace knowing the singles and doubles balance would be in good hands. Wolfie, let me just say, if given the opportunity, I would Jiga drain your cherished balls any day of the week. Hit me up, whenevs. That's an excellent choice, Donald. Our editor actually kind of looks like Wolfie if he was ugly and unsuccessful. Game Producer 6 is built like a cleffa fused with a chime echo, whereas Wolfie could catch this super rod any day. What about yourself, Joe? Well, my favorite Poketuber is my brother in Christ, Shofu. That man's Wi-Fi battles were crispy back in the day. I like all of his content, and if he ever needed, I would offer him my mother's birth canal on site. His bars are absolutely fuego, and his Pokemon ciphers are better than 99% of other rap artists and collaborations. I've signed up to be on the next Pokemon cipher. If you guys want to hear a verse I wrote. You got less bars than Mahogany City Joe, but sure, I don't really give a flying Pikachu anymore. Go ahead, spit some urethra water real quick. One time for the one time. You snipper whoppers, it's DJ Blowy. Call me Cramerant because I'm about to gobble these rats paws. I got flame on the brain. Infern aped is what they call me. I monkey around like Barack. He got that prankster hey, like you a what the key. fuck? Joe, you son of an ambipom. I know I did not hear what I just heard. I thought you were the son of an ambipom, Barack. I miss the good old days when Joe would orgasm over a swallow. This racism is just so out of pocket like the rest of the series, really. But God Almighty, you have to be a different kind of twisted to enjoy a series like this. Even more messed up to create it, actually, the more I think about it. Not to mention that opening bar was for Ralligator Cheeks. I was going to ask the viewers to try get Shofu to react to it by sharing it. But I'm just more embarrassed than anything right now. Oh, Bobby Swallow, come to me and make me come to you. <laughs> Speaking of Cheeks, I would stuff his diamond-studded stummy with my claw stick and blow him up like a wheezing. Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Get Ziggy out of there, Barack. You've already claimed one life this episode. Is that not enough? You guys do know we have a rule where if a Swalot kills one of our Pokemon, it doesn't count, right? They literally get sent to the purple haze heaven where all a Swalot stands aspire to be. In fact, I think if it wipes our entire team, we win the Nuzlocke challenge completely. Try it now, Barack. What kind of sick pleasure are you getting from all of this, Joe? I will absolutely not be letting Swalot claim any lives today. Well, he just killed 40 million right there. I mean, I will not be letting him claim any more lives. You can still store 40 mil in the tank? That's pretty impressive, Joe, for someone like you. To be fair, Donald, it's only thanks to the pump chump slump god himself, Leonardo da Vinci. He trained me on how to store more semen in the sea of men down under, if you know what I'm saying. He also taught me how to use a hidden blade but I gave up that assassin life pretty quickly. Speaking of, does anyone know if they're still making Assassin's Creed games nowadays? I gave up after Black Flag. The series was just getting too convoluted and seemed more like a cash grab as time went on. Well, apparently there's a new service type of game called Assassin's Creed Infinity that acts more like a progressive story and expansion, kind of like Grand Theft Auto Online and Fortnite. It just gets continuous updates or something. I'm not really sure that's all I know. I prefer the earlier game, Ass Ass in Your Sister's Mouth, Brotherhood of Gang Banging Shadows. I was one of the main characters in Act 3 of the story. If I could just understand 10% of what you're saying, Joe, I'd be happier than a why not. My plan is to just dunk on everyone coming up with Osama and make a quick stop to the Pokemon Center. We got lucky enough to pick up a water stone so we can actually evolve Wagma this episode. Doesn't that make you want to punch a Ralts right in the face? Not really. Bruised babies work very ineffectively for child labor. Wait, I forgot again. What did we name our Poliwhirl again, guys? What, you mean Slicema? Slicema balls. Wait, fuck me. That's not how it was meant to go at all. Damn you, Joe. Do you even understand who you are talking to, boys? Ninja may have contracted and popularized Ligma, but I was the one who created it. 5,000 years ago, what do you think wiped out the dinosaurs? A puny rock on fire from outer space? Reality check. It was Ligma. Oh, you think Ligma is your ally, but you merely adopted the Ligma. I was born in it, molded by it. Posting Ligma in 2023? That's Omega Cringe Joe. I thought you knew better. Plus, you just completely ruined one of the best movie quotes of all time. You know, there's a joke just waiting to happen about you being the Batman or something, Barack. But that's just low-hanging fruit. 
so low it's rubbing off my middle nut kind of low, and I have standards, so I ain't going there today. Standards? The fuck? Referencing controversial topics that still plague the earth today and constantly admitting to genocide and pedophilia is all perfectly fine, but calling Barack Batman is a line you don't dare to cross? This series continues to surprise me. Holy and mega yanker. Wow, really couldn't ask for a better evolution than this. Give me Lapras. Sorry, boss man, just had to climb 98 sets of stairs to witness this massive dub from the top floor. Our first fully evolved starter Pokemon of the run. And a freaking amazing one at that. Blast Toys is hands down one of the best and simultaneously most underrated starters of all time. Catapult Turtle is ready to OTK the opponent, bitches. Run away, you hate to see it. Our two turtle Pokemon can flee with no issues that's ironic. But those stats all around are incredibly well balanced. I can't pick out a single bad stat he has. Wagma has become a jack of all trades, master of none, which isn't too bad considering we didn't have anybody like that before. Finally, we are making fucking moves with the team to keep up with the power level of our legendaries. We have two more encounters left before we sign off for the day, so hopefully they will be a highlight of this episode also. It's just going to be another two water types. Why should we even bother? I can't wait for Squirtle and Octillery. I was thinking more Articuno and Mantine. Damn, you boys are both onto something. The next one, I feel like it isn't quite an Articuno joke. Similar in some ways, but not at all in others. Oh, it's a blue little birdie, isn't it? It's a goddamn Latios, isn't it? I would let him drop a Draco in the fissure of my ass crack. I can't wait. I'm over the Pokemon moon. The fuck? Fucking Azelf AIDS. What is this? This worthless Excadrill anal liquor can go packing back to the North Pole. The only person going around with a big white sack handing out presents to kids should be me with my aura spheres and 40 million seamen. I saw that Wagma learn rock throw get that ziggy wiggy waggy bastard in here now to obliterate this piece of shit. Calm down, Joe. We can't afford to kill any of our potential captures. I hate MFs who kill off their wild encounters in a Nuzlocke just because that Pokemon is perceived to be bad. I'm starting to realize every creature has its use, you know? Where was this Donald Dickinson when he encountered Electabuzz, huh? You murdered that TCG tyrant for absolutely no reason. We could have used an electric type back then. Obviously, I was talking about every Pokemans except Electabuzz. Who the hell likes that sweaty Yeti asshole? Personally, I prefer Magmar's reaming, steaming back door. I also love that his head is shaped like a booty. He could flame body my cock down the side of the old chateau whenever he wants with that gyat. Quick reminder that the giveaway is still on at the moment. For a chance to win up to $100 in Nintendo eShop and Steam cards, be sure to check out the last episode. It takes literally two minutes to do and is free to enter and is the best way to support the channel besides donating. We have also set up a Buy Me A Coffee account if you'd like to donate. Link is in the description, and there's a post explaining why exactly it was made. Enough sappy shit. Balls, 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 balls. Excuse my French, but what the shisa was that? Did Joe just spam the balls chant on Main right now? The sad part being it actually worked? Just when you think you know someone, the balls chant has never let us down before, Donald. Why are you even surprised? I'm going to call this Fluffer Christmas. Generic as hell, I know, but I was just thinking ahead about the forthcoming videos in relation to timing and scheduling, and at the pace we are going, we will probably finish this playthrough before the weeks of Christmas. Hopefully this series is done before like the 7th of December because our editor's job is going to consume his life after that day. That's why he should quit and get a real job, like being the president. It's not even that hard. Donald was able to scrape by without many complaints. Bro, you work on a farm. Get your literal corn looking ass out of here. Back to the game. This song is so amazing. It mixes all sorts of weird emotions together to create this melancholic piece and gets you questioning this area. What happened to the people on the abandoned ship? How did it end up so tattered and torn? The song has also a creepy undertone that give you that walking over someone's grave type of shiver. Jinkies! I had a feeling this is what you two were trying to predict, my fellow students. 
Going off my calculations here, just a singular great ball should be enough to capture this Remy boy's Remy Raymoraid. Fetty Barak in the building. He's like, hey, what's up? Hello. This little guy has drought, which is insane. We can literally start the weather wars two generations early if we feel like it. You're right, Donald. We can literally build whichever type of weather team will benefit us the most for the final gyms, which is incredibly handy. I'm going to call this little guy Legends because this video is in fact sponsored by nobody. This video is sponsored by nobody because our content is too crude. Shouldn't we tone down the harshness a bit, guys? I like having money, you know. Just because our advertisers are limited doesn't mean we can't gain any beneficial ones, Sleepy Joe. We can still get manscaped ads and they can send you a ball sack shaver, perhaps. Oh, penetrate me upside down Malamar style. Never mind. If any hair shaving product companies are out there, I need a fucking lawnmower to cut the grass around my sizzling sausage. Last time I tried to do it, I whipped out the hedge trimmers and those bastards broke off after three clean cuts. It's like a tang growth down there. I seriously need help. You need help in more ways than one, Joey. Say, boys, anyone got any plans for the weekend? As I said earlier, Barack, I plan to just monkey around like yourself. I promise you, I will send you to the planet of the apes one of these days. I'll neutral be donkey punch you right through the Milky Way. This is why he calls you a manky Barack. For myself, I just plan to stay up all night to get lucky daft punk style. Will that lead to massive sleep deprivation? Yes. Do I give a cryogonal fuck? Absolutely not. It's been a long week, boys. Let's just end it on a positive note this time, okay? You're totally right, Donald. Let's just be grateful this episode wasn't a total massacre and pray to whatever pokey god is out there that we get through the rest of the game smooth sailing. All right, time for me to take a short 15-hour power nap. Time for a cheeky McDonald's Mac Sippy Sippy Cup. Yo, everybody. It's me, your favorite American rapper, Joe Ryda. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. We've got a ton of new encounters and areas to explore today, thanks to my favorite HM Surf. So today we will be sailing the seas in search of some powerful items and treasures. How are you today, my brothers from another moda? I'm good, Joe. Grabbing your Route 134 encounter here, I see. Good way to start the video. Sup, boys? I'm doing pretty well. Let's get this episode off to an electrifying start, yes? Kill him! Eviscerate him! Allow me to demonstrate how to catch an Electabussy. Even if our whole team dies, I will catch this thing. Mark my words. Start unmarking those words because he is a level 33 with sheer cold. Do you want to roll a 30% chance to lose four Pokemon in a row? I don't know about you, but I don't like any of these guys. Joe! Ugh, okay, fine. Wagma has run away so I can safely escape this six-fingered freak. I don't want to hear you spout some nonsensical nonsense, Donald, that I couldn't catch this guy. If I genuinely didn't care about the team, I would have let whoever had to die just to prove to you I'm better at you than catching an Electabussy. What? Joe, I can't say shit about catching that yellow furry fuck, so why would I rub it in your face? You are literally a better player than me in every way. I can't deny that. I had an epiphany recently that I need to stop dissing you guys when you are clearly leaps and bounds ahead of my skill level. Well, I mean, Barack, don't get me wrong, you were literally choking harder than an evolved Machop last episode, but why should I bring you down over that? We all need to work together to make the magic happen, right? Who's with me? I agree, Donald. We need to stop our bitching and focus our punches on this Pokemon game more than ever right now. Joe, I have to say, you are literally the GOAT. Your gameplay has always been like a Daru Maka, pure fire. Finally, I'm getting the goddamn respect I deserve. You two chums aren't so bad yourselves. I just happen to be bringing my A-game to all of these videos. Mama didn't raise no bitch, though I only realized that back in 493 BC. Anyways, I'm swinging by New Mauville to get some more items and encounters, but this filler episode will be just as good as the G8 arc. And what a fantastic arc that was best, buddy. Say, could you sign my poster of you that I have hung up in my room as soon as you get the chance? Just please don't judge me when you see what photo it is or when I tell you the things I've done to it. I'm not surprised about your naked celebrity crush poster of me, Donnie, but wait until we get our encounter. What the hell is that thing? I don't think I've ever seen that Pokemon before. Its name is Armaldo, but its code name is Gay Porn. He's got a very unique ability with its own set of rules and fun interactions in battle. About 34 of them, I believe. Just look up Gay Porn, Rule 34 on Google, and you'll probably see the full list of effects. 
All right, bet. Alexa, look up the 34 rules of gay porn on Google. Thanks, you slimy Pichu rat bastard. Now my Alexa is telling me something absolutely diabolical about a vaporian. I wish to discuss this no further. I actually hate that copy pasta. Such a cool monster destroyed by the horny community. What a damn shame. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon wow, is the most... Wow, look at that, Joe. Let's go back to sucking you off. You're the greatest, the finest, the bestest. I literally want to be you when I'm older, Mr. President. Here comes Daddy. Here we go with the sus shit. Joe, we talked about this. You cannot be calling digital kaijus your daddy. That is an absurdly wild kink that you should keep with your mistresses. Barack and I don't want to hear about it. What? It's a reference to Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky special episode number two, where we get insight into Guildmaster Wigglytuff's childhood and how he got along with an Armaldo, who he ultimately looked up to. This Armaldo was a criminal, unbeknownst to the young Igly buff at the time, but the two went Lefties. on so many memorable explorations together. It inspired Igly buff to become the great explorer we know them as today. That shiz had my heart weeping, yo. Anyways, you sick fucks, I called this guy daddy because he was literally like a father figure to the child prodigy. Why do you always got to make me out to be some sort of freaky, deaky abomination? Damn, I know what you mean, Joe. That special episode was low-key a tearjerker. I can't lie. Surprisingly, a wholesome nickname coming from you. Thank you, Barack. I genuinely love that Armaldo and his character arc. I do always wonder about the Guildmaster, though. What type of adventures did he go on as a rookie explorer? or even as a Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff before establishing the guild. By the way, guys, there's some static encounters in New Mallville here that will be randomized. Will we count those as separate encounters, or are they fair game too? Well, we already encountered a plusle, which is dupes clause anyway, but normally I say all static encounters can be caught. How about for this run, we limit it to just one? That's fair Donald, you population bombing Q fant looking ass. One more encounter in this area, and we will leave it at that for the statics. Thank God we have Wagma with Runaway, otherwise some of these wild Pokemon would actually end up being a threat. These wild Pokemon being level 30 for this portion of the game is actually a nice challenge, but I kind of regret lowering the trainer's level so low. 20% makes them feel really weak in comparison to the wild mons we can regularly grind off of, you know what I'm saying? Yet you two idiots still regularly lose team members. Anyway, quiet down, you loud red lumpers. It's time for another encounter. Oh, shit. So that's what the Guildmaster was doing during their teenage years, hanging around in an underground power plant. I think I know what you're going to nickname this guy if you catch him, Joe. Cheap fuck. Ah, cheap fuck. This guy is a cheap fuck. I'm calling him cheap fuck. Black Friday sale looking ass. Discounted because he's missing his goofy ah parts looking ass. What is this? The one-hit KO showcase episode? Are we going to encounter a mind reader plus Fisher Teddy Ursa next? At least Legends is two levels higher than this pink punk. So he's unaffected by horn drill at least. But still, what a load of horse shit, I must say. Joe's luck is slowly starting to run out. I'm starting to worry about our team once again. Please don't let anybody else die, Joe Seppi. But please at least try to catch him cotton-eyed Joe. You see this cheap fuck going for the horn drill again? even though it doesn't affect us. This jiggly wiggly shit is so lucky that I don't kill it right now. I told you boys I was on to something when I said all Igly buffs should die. As Hitler once said, exterminate all the buffs, puffs and toughs. You know life is going downhill when you start quoting Hitler. You know I had a few chats with him pre-World War II. He was surprisingly nice, had beautiful bright blue eyes, but my God, he always smelled so bad. I would always buy him aftershave and deodorant for his birthday. That dude was so gassy. Anyway, yeah, cheap fuck is what this titty impersonator is being called. And I don't want to hear a goddamn word about that battle. May Wagma rest in piss. Rip in pepperoni, sweet prince of Persia. Speaking of, look, it's the yellow flute. A useful flute if we were playing with items on. But alas, we have to put up with the stupid confusion hacks now in every battle. I love how powerful they are in a normal playthrough. They're more broken than a freshly encountered Coridon. Let's be honest, the flutes, which includes my penis, are more broken than a Cubone. You go ahead and wear the skull of your unalived mother and tell me you aren't emotionally unfixable. Don't worry guys, I can fix her. Just leave the sweet talking to me and I'll be married to that depressed Cubone in a heartbeat. You cannot fix her, Joe. You are not that guy. 
I'm sorry to shatter your confidence like that, but it's true. You've got to accept that you can't fix every female you come across in life. You're not a fixer upper, you're not Bob the Builder, and you are most certainly not the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. That's great, Obama, but let me fix this run real quick and not lose peak to this stupid lead in. That would be a disgrace to all the fans who are rooting for us. We've come so far, yet Victory Road and the champion seem so far away. Do we really have what it takes to be a master of Pokemon? Like, do we even have the skills to be number one? Well, let me reassure you, Joe, by saying something wild. I want to take the ultimate step, while also finding the courage to be bold. Oh, hell no. If you think I'm going to start quoting such a bum-ass song, you've got another thing coming, you ultra beasts. That opening is worse than shiny hunting a starter in sun and moon. Why do they have to make a big fucking song and dance about receiving your first Pokemon? Bring it back to the good old days where you pick a Pokeball, and ten seconds later you're battling with this guy against your douchebag rival, or in the wild for survival. But no, in Gen 7 I have to wait over three minutes just to see if my Litten is a non-racist color. As the saying goes, if the kitty ain't white, say good night. Or, if the owl ain't dark green, start sipping that dank lean. Make sure that pop Leo's dark blue. If not, start fucking a paralyzed Pikachu. That's my personal favorite. Okay, now you're not even remotely making sense, Donald. Electric types can't be paralyzed after Gen 6, so what you're saying doesn't even logically add up. What a moron! Say goodbye to Harry Mama. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Joe. Harry Mama instead of Harry Yama. That is officially the pokey pun of the episode. Good job, you relic and agent prick. I can't believe I've done all this work to get through this dungeon in record time, and nobody is complimenting me right now. I literally wrapped this place up like my team of Dragonites from Red and Blue, and even used the run button without throwing up from dizziness. Yet I hear no applause. What happened to calling me a legend and a mythical? Huh? Well, to be fair, Joe, you lost Wagma. That's a pretty big hit to your credibility right now. I'm not saying you're on Fraud Watch, but I'm just going to wait and see how the rest of this episode plays out. If you make it to the Weather Institute by the end of this episode without losing anyone else, I will cement you as the greatest Pokemon player of all time. How does that sound? I second that statement from Young Goose over here. All my future sight is showing me as an image. I can barely make it out, but I think it is Dick Shop putting in God's work. He obviously pops off this episode. I can see he goes on a rampage, so please be wise in using him, Jojo, and don't let him die. I see he gets a pretty broken move next level up, too, so keep that in mind. You septile suckers better be ready to praise me as Lord Biden by the end of my play session. Did nobody notice I picked up leftovers a minute ago? Are you two scrolling on your iPods again going through Instabook? Well, what about this item? Wow, that's amazing. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you. That is seriously a game changer. Holy tropius banana, is this for real? You're welcome, boys. I'll take that Pokemon Player of the Year award whenever you guys are ready. I think I'm going to cry. Wah! Hush, hush, Joe. Will you quiet down for a second? There's a Cinderace on X who's having a massive OnlyFans sale. Rabbitfoot picks for $30. What a bargain. Call me a bug type because I'm weak to this fiery bunny and I'm about to vol beat my schlong. It's super effective. But my loving friends, I just got us another EXP share. Isn't that cool? Aren't I just the bestest? And look, I got TM24, which is super power. That is sweet. I'm going to teach it to Wagma. You let Wagma get fucking buried by a horn drill. Sleepy Joe cut the stupid shit and save that beast of a move later. Speaking of beast, damn Obama, this bunny got me bricked up. Yowzers! I don't want to let off a water spout yet, but the water pulse is already on the way. God, I love you, Elon, for bestowing this on the timeline. For real, for real. I'm pulling up X on my eighth monitor. Hold the Pori phone for a second. That Cinderace is a boy. You can see his fur sticking out of his boxers in the third photo. Wait a second. That's our fucking editor in a furry costume. You two are getting bricked up like a stack attacker over our fucking editor. Oh, hell nah. That is another level of down bad boys. I'm so ashamed of you right now. Repent for your sins. I respect the hustle. If I was a year younger, I'd be doing the exact same thing as that gorgeous creature. Just withdraw daddy and go around collecting items, Joe, will you? Donald and I will be busy for a second. Guys, to rescue Game Producer 6 from having to sell his body online to these two creeper peepers, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A simple like and sub will be enough support to show GP that he doesn't have to do these cringy TikTok dances in a furry suit for the series to grow.
You know it's bad when a male Cinderace doesn't even arouse me in the slightest. Oh, for God's sake. He just deleted his OF page now because the viewers subscribe to his YouTube. That is pure ass in a bucket, bud do in a blender, drift loon at a birthday party, raw dog and non-pog dog shit. You always have to ruin the fun, Joe. Nice to see the Biden ball swinger is back in full force this episode. Does your evilness know no bounds, little Joe Peep? I hope your flock of sheep perish. I'm just going to surf around a little bit, as you said, Barack, my nibble nobbler and grab an item or two. Then I'll proceed surfing Weiss to continue the story. Guess I'll ask my comment question for the video. What direction is Weiss? Don't tell me that's Kanye's new tormented baby. Don't think about it too hard, Donald. Anyway, my question is actually in relation to the new Pokemon games. Are you going to be purchasing the Teal Mask DLC for when it releases on September 13th? I will definitely be getting it. These new areas and expanded stories will definitely have more polish in it than the base game, which is all Scarlet and Violet were missing, really. Diplin is going to be my dipper for real. Fuck you, man. And I'm honestly just excited to see what Pokemon will be brought back onto the Switch in glorious high definition. I have a feeling it's going to be DLC of the year. I can't wait. Whoa, slow down there, Weepy Joe. You need to pass me off to your dealer because that copium is extra, extra strong that you're puffing on. You cannot say high definition and switch in the same sentence. That is false advertising. DLC of the year for a Pokemon game, I wouldn't mind, but you know, this year we got like a billion Splatoon 3 free updates. PD Piranha returned in Mario Kart 8 with some cool tracks. And Monolith Soft casually dropped a peak story expansion for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Future Redeemed is literally one of the greatest DLCs of all time. That's a goddamn actual factual. Okay, no need to go on a gamer rant, Donald. You alpha rapidash built shit. Are you getting the DLC then, or is that a no? Of course I'm not. That would mean I would have to buy Scarlet or Violet in the first place. And I'm not supporting Game Freak's lazily developed games. Otherwise, they'll just abuse that undying fan base and continue to make subpar games. Hold on to a Carablast cock for a second. A few episodes ago, you said the final battle against the AI professors was your favorite Pokemon track of all time. Doesn't that mean you played through the game and beat the final boss? What? No, of course not. I found that song in a playlist on YouTube called Hype Pokemon Music to help you ladder Pokemon Showdown. That song came on and I shit you not, I, I reversed six owed freeze eye in a clutch King Gambit sweep. Since then, it's been ride or die with that song. Oh, wow, a King Gambit sweep. How very technical and skillful of you, Donnie. No one has ever won a match like that before. I could beat you in chess or King Gambit dittos, Joe, so stop the hating you clef key cock blocker. Wow, okay, I guess Donald's answer is a no then. As for me, I will be getting it, but more so because I want to see what the Indigo disc is all about when it releases in winter this year. It seems to be the finale of s and story as well as an expansion on the lore of terrestrialization. Plus, there are rumors to say that there is some connection to Generation 5 remakes or possibly a Legends-type game because of a certain character in that DLC. And Gen 5 is one of my favorites, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. And here we go with the Gen 5 nonsense. If you guys put a gun to my head and asked me to list three good things about Generation 5, I would tell you two things. One. The fact it is based off of the U.S. is based, and of course I love it for that. Two is that Braviary was born from that generation who is my favorite Pokemon of all time and represents America's freedom. But then I would proceed to pull the trigger myself because that is literally the only two good things that originate from black and white. It's ironic Trubbish was introduced in those games because that's exactly what they are too. It's also ironic that you're such a lousy bitch, Donald. But you don't see anyone talking about that, do you? Your opinion on Gen 5 is honestly worse than Lei Chonk Poo Poo. I remember when we were lining up outside of GameStop and your eyes had that bright glint inside them. What happened to that positive Donald? Where did that childlike wonder go? What happened, you say? Well, I talked to Bianca for eight seconds. I encountered a lily pup that wiped my Asha Wad out. I fell asleep during the first introduction of Team Plasma. I started to feel like you, Joe. So I did what any sane man would do in this situation. I proceeded to head smash my DSi until shards of glass from the dual screens were stuck in my forehead. I told the doctor the full story. She gave me the crispiest fist bump. 2010 was such a wild time, huh? Are you stoned, Donald? 
Women can't be doctors. They can only be nurses. I wouldn't trust a bitch with my heart transplant that I get done every century. Speaking of stoners, there he is, folks. The king of getting stoned, Stephen Stone Jerner himself. Legend has it his mega evolution item was meant to be the skin wrapped around a blunt. Mega Metagross was also meant to be holding four freshly lit Zazas and gain the fire typing. Unfortunately, the game would have been rated T for teens, so they scrapped that plan and gave him a stupid ass stick pin instead. Man, I miss Squad, don't you guys? Squad was a noble sacrifice, Joe piss off, and let me rewind this back for a second. How would including that quadruple loud pack only have gotten the game a T for teen rating? Why not M for mature? Because more teens actually smoke weed every day compared to the average 21 and above adult. It's a sad fact, but it's a reality we unfortunately have to deal with. Damn, that is some messed up scaroopy shit. I didn't know that was an actual statistic, Obama. Source? My source is, I made it the fuck up. Get wrecked, Dolan, you starving my boss, you fuck. Thank Arceus, I'm a capable player because the ridiculous stuff you guys come out with is so annoying half the time. I'm trying to concentrate and keep Osama alive. If I start going along with you chuckle fucks and let my gameplay go into autopilot, well, you know, Osama, autopilot, you know what would happen. Kaboom! Womp womp. You two better grow up and get out of your silly little ha-ha moods because this game is no joke. This is life or death. You don't know the feeling of getting horn drilled and having to suck it up because the game cannot defeat you. Not like this. This game is nothing. My mental state is so impressive they call my brain mess prit. My emotions are fine-tuned. This game will not break me. Hey, Joe, guess what? What is it, Obama? Your dick looks like a watch hog. <laughs> Rip bozo. Shut up, Barack. I don't have time for your games, you dark rye. Why do you call me that, Joe? Is it because I am a badass or because I regularly give nightmares to kids by bombing their hometowns and stealing them away from their families? You regularly do what now, Barack? Nah, homie, it's because you're black. Hey, yo, what the Gligar? Ain't no way bro said that. He's looking for the smoke. Now it might be over for him. All right, the gloves are off. No more silly, goofy, ha-ha mode. I'm going to spin your block like a hiss ooyan lilligant. I'll get the drop on you like a swoo bat and punch your lights out like a hitmonchan versus a lantern. What are you trying to say, Barack? Are you not black now? Am I missing something? Uh, I mean, no, you're not wrong. Let me be clear. I am still black, but the way you're saying then it Then shut implies... the fuck up when your master's speaking. Be yach. I'm literally just stating pure facts. No printer. I see you as black. I call you black. Simple. I see Donald as a fat gargantuoso Snorlax. I call him a fat gargantuoso Snorlax, plain and simple. Go back to your farm, you ungrateful Dino looking ass. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, you Aloma Mola rider. Don't bring me into this. I was just sitting on the sidelines. Don't be hitting me with these strays. Sitting on the sidelines because you always get benched. Why am I not even surprised anymore, you gimme goo gulper? The power is really getting to his head. Let's dial it back a bit, Joe. Things are resembling a heat more here with how hot this burn intention is. I know Osama has been cooking, but now he's sleeping like a time bomb. He will get his chance to blow again soon, but maybe it's Dick Shop's turn to bring in some shmoney. Fair point, Barack. A stab surf in the rain? Ain't nobody living that. Send your strongest soldiers. I bet they getting washed for free. Hopefully I don't get dissed for contributing to the conversation, but up north, you have your Route 119 encounter Joe. Don't forget it, because this is when the power scaling starts to get a little crazy. Oh, thanks, Donnie. I actually totally forgot. If you hadn't said that, I might have accidentally killed any wild Pokemon. It's the route with the never-ending rain, right? At least there is a visual indicator for when it changes to that route. So I'll be Gucci to catch whatever we run into. Hmm. Okay, guys, based off this battle, I know what's going to happen next episode. Enjoy these happy days while they last. What the fuck? Why is it always when it's my turn you just casually drop some cryptic narc shit like this Barack? What did your advanced observation tell you this time? Don't forget to pick the citrus berries, Joe. Sorry, that was my farmer side coming out of me there for a second. And Donald, it's actually got nothing to do with my fortune-telling abilities, but rather next episode will be slightly different for the series going forward. I think it'll be a much appreciated change, but I promise you guys it's nothing to be worried about. It's also got nothing to do with the fact that Dick Shop dies next episode. Oh, fuck. Spoilers. No shot. No way he just said the spoiler, then put the tag at the end of the sentence. Barack, tell me it's a lie. I like Dick Shop. Please tell me he doesn't actually die next episode. This is your one and only out, Obama. Say it was just a prank. Please. Screw y'all believe what you want at this rate. All I'm going to say is you better make this capture worth it, Joe, just to be safe. 
Oh, it is so Jover. Wait, wait, we are so back! Day 97 of commenting that Game Producer 6 should hack in a Lapras for Joe to catch. All those comments on the compilations were worth it. I'm actually going to use Make It Rain On My Pants. I don't know why Joe thinks this is hacked. This is the purest Colombian luck I've ever seen. Wait, Barack, I didn't forget your first vision. You said Dick Shop goes on a rampage, which he hasn't so far. Don't tell me we fucking axe this lap priz from existence. Oh, heck no, Donald. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Hold on, something ain't right. My visions have gotten blurry. Wait a minute, guys. I think I've figured it all out. Dick Shop will go on a massacre this episode, as you said, Barack. You were right. You never said it was going to be our Dick Shop. I've cracked the code. There are only two things that are cracked here. That lap press and Dick Shop skull. As much as I would love to catch this guy, my heart is absolutely breaking right now. And now is not the best time to mention it, Joe, but Yes, this is another Generation 1 water type that we can catch. I really can't think of many left that we don't have, but we lost a whisk cash for an arguably better monster all around. Don't let his doomed desire go to waste, and please play as calculated and carefully as you can to snag this sucker. It's so hard to fight these inner demons who want me to click Vine Whip. They seek revenge for my number one solo hit, Dick Shop, now streaming on iTunes and Amazon Music. I literally have a fucking demon living inside of me. If you're struggling right now, you wouldn't be able to survive a day with Sukuna tormenting you from the inside. He keeps bumping the same four Eminem songs on repeat at full volume. And it's irritating as balls. You also lost the bet, Joe. Nobody has to call you the goat because you slaughtered not one, but two invaluable team members before making it to the Weather Institute. Don't become a weatherman anytime soon, best buddy. Donald is spitting fuego. I'm actually so depressed right now, I thought I was the goat, but really I'm just a sham. I'm gonna call this dummy, lap or ass question mark. I swear it's funny, but right now everything is pain. So maybe it will make me kerfuffle next episode. I have no energy to continue, so I'm going to save outside this chick's house. Any final words, guys, cause I sure as heckle don't have or wanna say any. Uh, Joe, don't let it get to you. You're still the goat in my heart. And to be fair, those were probably the two most reasonable deaths so far in the series. A one-hit KO move and transform? And from two Pokemon you had to try and catch on top of that? How is a man meant to combat that? Don't beat yourself up over that chum. Donald's right. The game went full on cheese mode and sandwiched you relentlessly. Next time we continue the adventure, Donald is going to go ham. I just know it. <laughs> Sigh. No, it's raining all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like or comment or share this video to maybe cheer me up from such a rough session. I'll see you all next time and stay awesome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I, Donald J. Goat King Trump Ketchum, will be making my way downtown to the Weather Institute, possibly walking fast. Team Aqua are up to no good, so it's time for the greatest trio to put a stop to their antics. What's good, guys? I'm great, Donald. I have a surprise for you in this first battle. I hope you enjoy it. Great, now I'm worried. Why do you always do this, Barack? As if my day couldn't get any worse. Just sweet crust. What the hurt your hell is this? Barack, explain. Well, you see, boys, while I was sitting alone in my basement last night, listening to the literal screams of the voices in my head, I was reflecting on our journey so far. I've been enjoying this playthrough, but I couldn't help think there was something missing. After a lot of consideration, I knew what it was from the last episode. Heartbreak, watching two of our favorites die because of Joe's shitty play. It enlightened me. It got me excited. It got my rock hard. My lust for blood was fulfilled. So naturally, I hacked into your computer, Trump, and boosted the enemy Pokemon levels back up by 20% to around their original levels. Yahoo! Aren't you both over the Pokemon moon? Oh, but when I go down to my basement to listen to the voices and cries of, please let me go, Where's my family? Everybody uses judgment on me. I see how it is, you racist. The difference is Barack's voices are in his head. Yours are really trapped in your basement, Joe. Anyway, Mario Obama, are you serious? Why would you want to inflict more pain and suffering on us after the last few episodes? We've lost so many lives as it is. Come now, Donald, what's a few more scores to the tally? Also, what do we think about this evolution? I wish you'd ask me to come now, Barack. 
I can show you that my practice is really paying off. This duck ain't even gold. I always said Pokemon should have stopped after Generation 1 because the newer names and designs are so convoluted and ridiculous. Like, what is this non-gold fuck even meant to represent? Ironically, he represents stupidity. Starting a petition to re-nickname this guy Sleepy Joe. Wait a damn minute, boys. We are so back. We've got drought again. That Groudon was foreshadowing. I knew it. His stats aren't even bad either. He's pretty balanced across the board. Thunder Wave is great for crippling the opponent anyway, so this guy may just turn out to be the legend his name preludes to. Which is ironic because this episode is sponsored by... Nobody, absolutely nobody. Our editor is poor and is back doing his OF sale, this time dressed as a Rillaboom, which is more up my alley, I'm not gonna lie. Just a quick reminder that there's a buy me a coffee page in the description for anyone who's willing to donate. Or you can leave a super chat in the comments below to support the making of this series. Let's just say if there was a theoretical program used to possibly emulate our presidential voices, it isn't free to use and cost quite a bit to make every episode. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So any support from the community would be appreciated. If you aren't willing to donate, go use high jump, kick off, sky arrow, bridge, ya bum. Joe, relax, my guy. What has gotten into you? I heard you say you weren't feeling too good today. What's the matter? You feeling a little drowsy? Other way around, Donald. A little drowsy is feeling me. His hands are doing some good jobs, if you know what I mean. That is an image I really don't need in my mind. But in all seriousness, what's up, Joe? We're all friends here. We can talk about these things because we have much non-homosexual love for each other. Well, I feel that way. I don't know about you weirdos. Weirdos? Friends! I meant friends! Anyway, tell us what's going on. Feeling a little crabby? Again, a little crabby is feeling me, but I'm not even into it at the moment. Like he's going to town on me right now, I might not make it out alive. But eh, it still ain't cheering me up. What? It sounds like you struck the treasure of pleasure, Joe. For as long as I've known you, you've always gone on about getting freaky and geeky with a crabby to make yourself feel like a kingler. But now the day has come, and you are not even enjoying it in the slightest. All right, shit, you're clearly beyond depressed. I don't think anyone can help you. Sorry, not sorry. Your best friend gets depressed while a one-foot crab annihilates him. And this is how you respond? That doesn't sound like bestie behavior to me, Joe. I'll just email my bestie CV to you again since your dog ate the last one I sent in the post. Excuse me now, what dog? Oh, you haven't heard. Joe got two new dogs a few weeks ago when this series started. He called one of them Entei, after our Entei called Dog and the other called Stoutland. Or was it Stalin? I don't remember, I get mixed up between the two. But anyway, I mailed my bestie resume to Joe recently, listing all the reasons why I should be his bestie. My skills in curling hair, seeing the future, above average schlong, yada, 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 yada. But lo and behold, Stalin ate the 53-page application when Joe wasn't home. Isn't that such a shame? Damn, Osama is putting in work. I'm proud of you, Donald. Let's forget about this depressing topic and make like a reboot and run, run, run. Wait a second. Obama, did you not know that Joe has skillage? Wait, shit. That's not the right disease. I meant he has eczema through a pet allergy. You're telling me you didn't know this basic fact about Mr. Biden? Pretty sure Julius fucking Caesar even knew that. Nani, is this true, Joel? I didn't want you to find out this way, Barack, you impotent dick loser, but it's true. I'm not currently accepting bestie requesties, so I shredded your stupid little novel like an abyss seeking giratina. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, now you know, Ziggy. Oh, for goodness sakes, Joe, can you at least sing the song to commemorate Dick Shop? Fine. Don't blame me if you shed a few tears, though. I really miss the dick ick shop. Goodbye to your really nice cock. Okay, boys, I'm not even joking when I say this. Lapris is top three months we have caught so far. Easy. Great stats all around, especially his HP, which is the most important. He's got a bad move set, but this man has transform. We can just shang sung ourselves into the opponent and batter the goddamn brakes off them with their own move set. The ability to shape shift could honestly come in clutch. If we come up against a Luigia, for example, we can paralyze with legends, switch out into lap or ass, then change into that beast and start sweeping these sons of stitches. I can already tell he's going to be one of my faves. That's for damn sure. That was a beautiful analysis, Obama. I'll be sure to not let lap or ass get schmurdered on the beat. Let me just rearrange the team here a little bit. 
I might bring day one just to be safe now that all the trainers' levels have been raised. Cannot believe you flicked on hard mode while we weren't paying attention. Damn you, monkey dory. Just take Boo Boo and leave day one Donnie. Maybe I'm acting paranoid from ingesting five extra iron bottles today, but I cannot stand the thought of Osama and day one possibly getting tombstoned in the same fight. Boys, I'm not even joking when I say this. If Osama and day one both unalive in the same battle, I will use destiny bond on a Nigerian child. You may as well sweet kiss me goodbye at that rate. Leave Barack's kids out of this, Joe. Anyway, let me give my favorite item, the amulet coin, to snack. And then I can try to put in some work against these grunts. I know the rain being set up every fight is going to slow the game down to a puku muku pace. But I will take any means necessary to win these fights. Donald, I cannot believe you pronounced that name fucking flawlessly. You robotic Porygon Z looking ass. My ass also looks like a Porygon Z. Irregularly shaped and infected. Boo boo switch on the blast burn. The rain is up anyway, so it shouldn't really do much. Blast burn looking a little different nowadays. Donald choking mega evolved cock looking the same though, thank God. Now hear me out. I'm pretty sure surf in the rain kills. I don't care if surf murders his entire species and clan. You are under no circumstance staying in against this fool. Literally anyone is a good switch here besides Peak. She's a little too low leveled to be considered a reliable tanker. I know he probably has a pain in his back from carrying your weak bitch ass all episode, but maybe if you ask nicely, Osama will help you bomb this blaze ickin' Kentucky chicken. Listen, Osama will do whatever I command him to, okay? Don't you dare forget who caught this explosive little guy. That's right, me. God damn it. Jumbotron D is back on top dickheads. I would say it's getting hot in here because I want to take off all my clothes. But my brother Osama can never be hot. He's got the pumpy. Who's pumping something hot? Osama can never be hot. Perspiration ting fam in it. Never taint my brother Big Shaq's words ever again. That accent was worse than your gameplay, and that is saying something. More like Blaze Icken has the hydro pumpy goddamn. And you set up the rain for him too, Donald? Are you using that future site to try and wipe our whole team? Cough it up. Who paid you to start throwing like this? Joe Mama paid me to throw all right. Throw it back. Holla at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind that shit for a second. Did, did you just say Joe's Mama paid you to throw it back? Oh, hell no, bro. The block button ain't enough. I want him dead. You kind of sounded like Crash Bandicoot there, Barack, with your woes. I was running through the six with my woes. You know how that shit go? But anyway, back to Donald's chubbiness trying to twerk and somehow my mother paying for it. I will have a serious talk with her the next time I see her. Anyways, viewers, I would like you to imagine something for me right now. Close your eyes. Picture a lowly lit, mostly dark room with a single wooden chair. The chair has three legs. You go to sit down on the chair, but someone drags it out from underneath you and your booty hits the floor. You look up. Who is it? It's Donald Snorlax, extra large J. Trump douchebag, who's rapidly approaching you, trying to grind against your pelvis. Now open your eyes and look down. If you still have a penis, uh, I'm sorry, but that's technically a negative growth boner. You are gay. After hearing that story, your dick should have fallen off completely or shriveled up so much that it goes completely flat against your body. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, everybody, but you're all gay. Welcome to the club. Who is it, Raiden? Show me. Show me who did it. She's kind of bad, though. Is that Frost? You're gay, Donald. Ha 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 ha. Funny reference, though. That is one of the greatest videos of all time. Anyways, how are you finding the difficulty increase? I see you're having no trouble so far, which is reassuring. It's a little bit of a step up, of course, but these goons are getting clowned on like that circus you used to work at Barack. I used to love that funny bit where you would just walk out into the middle of the arena. No makeup, no wacky costume. It was literally just you in a black suit. <laughs> that was always my favorite part of the whole show. I know Donald. It was always a fan favorite bit, but I never understood why. Where's the joke of me just standing there with a single spotlight on me? Were you scratching your armpits, Barack? Were you making monkey sounds, huh? Were you peeling a banana upside down, huh? Oh, oh, ah, ah. Of course I fucking wasn't, Joe. Why? Oh, well then, I don't know why people found it funny either. You racist Galarian suck at you. I'm sure you'll be sad to hear those performance days are behind me. Now, there's nothing I enjoy more than coming home from a long whippity day and work on the farm and chilling with my two good friends, sometimes puffing that ganja. 
I've been trying to cut down on that gloomy gloom pack. I'm sure you'll be glad to hear Joe. Now, I'm down to only 33 blunts a day. Talk about progress. How about we spark one up to celebrate, huh? Well, here we go. I only have one thing to say to you, Obama, you druggo. What is it, Donald? You poison-type, plump, pawnyard, steel wing, backwards cap, dumbass, shadow-forcing kids like this. Riggy, 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 steel. You Persian perverts! How come every time the golems appear on the screen, you two malfunction and spout some extra delectable bullshit, huh? I think you two were red G's in a past life because you have not passed up an opportunity to do those stupid ass noises in a hot minute. Because it's fun, Obama, okay. What's wrong with having a bit of fun? You know what else is fun? My comment question of the day, which is this. Who is your favorite rival in all of Pokemon? That includes anime exclusives like Gary Oak and Paul. Well, you just answered your own question there, Donnie boy. Did you forget to put on aftershave this morning? Because I will smell you later. Gary Oak was just a straight up pimp, a babe magnet. That man pulled up to get his first Pokemon and had a squad of cheerleaders outside. How cool is that? On top of that, let's get the obvious out of the way. He is a whale lord sized asshole and I love that about him. You hated the way he treated Ash, but you had to respect him because he was still a better trainer in every way. He collected 10 out of 8 gym badges in Kanto, for goodness sake. He literally makes his own rules up about getting into the Grand Pokemon League. His game counterparts do not serve him justice, and don't fucking get me started on that cartoony, goofy, let's go Pikachu and Eevee twat face. Trace, I think, is his name? He is as big of a pussy as Cloyster is. And I seriously don't understand why they butchered Blue from the originals to be such a pathetic rival. Well, given the art style and hand-holding nature of that game, is it really a surprise that your rival is a cowardice, happy-go-lucky ducky? I'm not trying to defend him here at all. He's still more of a mistake than women in power, but for the type of gaming it was, it made sense. I understand that Joey, but I still hate his guts. To be honest, all Pokemon rivals are pretty much bent booty lickers. Even Gary's redemption arc is ridiculously dumb. He becomes a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak, which is fine. But why did he have to become humble with Ash all of a sudden? Where's the conflict? It's so obvious when new writers took over for the anime because they themselves didn't even understand the legacy of the characters they were doing up. Long story short, all rivals are as useless as a 500 pokey dollar magic carp. I agree that dickhead rivals are the best Barack because my favorite rival is Silver. Oh look, I'm even fighting a Sneasel, which he uses on his team. I just love the fact he's another guy who's strolling about the Johto region trying to Sorry, what was that, Satan? Let me give you a hand purging all those souls. What the fuck? Someone just explained to me why this diabetic clink-clang cunt keeps fucking losing our Pokemon. How is gameplay this utter Toracat shit even legal in this day and age? You're a fucking mess, Donald. Do you hear me? A worthless hunk of skrunk junk. Now Barack is gonna come back as high as a goddamn Lunala, and we have to deal with it. Why don't you just choke on a wad of cum instead, you blip bug bastard? I'm tired of it. Hey, you good, Barack? Everything okay at home? I'm just so sick and tired and sick and mother fucking tired of the heartbreak and pain. When is it going to end? Why do I have to be paired with two idiots for my 50th Nuzlocke run? For what grievous sin have I committed to be cast such judgment by R.C. Us himself? Just end it all. Put me out of my misery. So, Joe, your favorite rival is... May? Uh, uh, it's fucking May. Uh, I would do outrageous things to her, but I'm not a dragon. I would plow her into the dirt, but I'm not a ground type. I'd give her my AIDS, but I'm not a poison type. I'd split my pain with her after I split her. Red Sea open and split your fucking skull wide open. I wouldn't even feel sad if you left Donald or committed sauce on the side. Don't tempt me. I will leave if I feel like it. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I can't even recall what happened there. Donald, did you die to a critical? I guess that is unlucky, but, you know, Snack isn't the greatest defensively and has low health, so switching out should have definitely been an option on your mind. You're rushing too much. Remember, you can't see into the future if you're blinded by rage or greed or food. How did you know I'm in my hangry mode, Obama? I apologize, but it's been 17 minutes since I last ate. Of course, I'm going to play sloppily. I have newfound hate for you, Donald. 
I can't stand by silently as you let our whole team get slaughtered. This is not the Pokemon adventure I signed up for. You betrayed me for the last time. Take Osama down south and train him up a bit against the skipped trainers. I hate to use such scummy tactics, but at this point, what other choice do we have? Fine, but I'm doing this because I want to Barack. Not because you told me you're skanky manky. I wish a manky would cross chop my nuts right now. Holy shit, I hate you, Don. All right, time to take down this bitch upstairs. Watch this all of a sudden be the easiest fight ever. I hope so, since you can't even deal with some bum-ass grunts in the organization of Team Aqua, and now you want to fight one of their leaders? Donald was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. I love when we make obscure references, and like two people in the comments understand what it is. It makes my spritzy tickle, if you know what I mean. You know what I love? I love when the commenters joke I love it when you shut the fucklet up. You swan a sack. Your right to speak has been revoked. I genuinely hate you after today. Donald, go lick the dick cheese off your greasy ass fingers and toes. You crummy, cummy deadweight. Leave. Go. Nobody wants you here. I know you just got grounded by that smackdown, Donald, but please don't let his words harm you. He's just a little upset over Snack's death, which I can't blame him for. He did catch him after all and he was like a son to him. Real talk one time for the one time. I'm not feeling the vibe right now with you, Joe. Keep this up and I'm off the goddamn team and I ain't coming back. That's all it took. Hold up, let me cook. You're as useless as an assault vest, why not? I'll rattle you like a pseudo wudo. I'll shift the tree to its fifth round. Then you'll see the dot and feel the nuzzle of the leaf once this bullet seed blows. Piatch! Damn, everyone hide your ice types because Joe is fire blasting at anyone and everyone. Donald, I love you, brother, but I'm afraid there's no coming back from that absolute destruction you just took head on. Unplug your controller dog. Look, thanks to lap or ass, I brought Wagma back from the dead. Maybe I should play like a certain fraud and let them die again, huh? Huh? Wouldn't that be hilarious if Wagma died twice? I can't help but laugh at you, Claude Zars. I'm literally the fan favorite player, and you treat me with as much respect as Barack gets from working on a rinky dink fucking farm. You're both comedians, honestly. This battle is comedic. Get this double substitute stalling shit off my screen. I love defensive play, don't get me wrong, but this is just purely toxic. Have a bit of dignity, Donald, and try make this battle more interesting, would you? Literally more toxic than a grimer like yourself, Donald? Is your middle name Feebas? Because you're the ugliest motherfisher I know. How come when I sweep two of her Pokemon, you're both too busy saying the shittiest rap lyrics ever made? But when I dial it back a little bit, start to plan out my strategy and utilize what I would call the optimization station, you critical hit bastards get all up in arms about my plays. Joe, you in particular are seriously getting under my skin. One look at Barack and I have to forgive his horrible roast since I'm reminded that he is black. You zigger! But your Pokemon white privilege ass is frustrating me. You better watch your Luna tone with me, Grandpa. I'll soul rock your socks off, so piss right off. I've got at least four million plus years of life experience over you. The average Roman had bigger balls than you, you spend a built fuck. Choo choo, here comes the optimization station, my scrunklies. I know when he's going to use disable, so I switch to signal beam so that I don't get caught in a vine whip stun lock. I literally can't believe how goaded I am at this game, holy banana bonkers. I bet you both just wish you were me, huh? Physically, definitely not. Mentally, I am quite impressed, Donald. After the relentless roasting from myself and Joe, I really thought you would have broken down right now. But you're on the cusp of victory. To be frank, Barack, I don't like hot sauce. Anyways, if I'm being honest, I am like one more dis away from becoming eternally depressed. If you could both stop attacking me like a zigzagoon, I would really appreciate that. All is forgiven, Donnie. You know I love you. I know your limits. Quick question, though, because I'm an arrogant Excel gore and totally wasn't paying attention. But didn't we have that last Pokemon you defeated? I could have sworn we had him last episode. Who was he again? Oh, I missed you, Dementia Joe. We are so back. Yes, we did have Blast Toys in the previous episode. He was our short-lived but very prideful member, Wagma. Wagma dick in your face. L-M-A-F-O, I'm gay. You think I'd forgive your dumb, dud, dumb, dumb ass so easily? Get jebated. You fucking killed my son a snack, so get wrecked. Wow, we got a Spearow. He will literally evolve in one level up, so that'll be a nice little event to already look forward to for the next episode. I'm looking forward to the Donald Trump jackass arc next episode. It's really just a compilation of all the stupid, idiotic, she stuff that Donald does in his regular everyday life. 
but with a laugh track slapped over it. That man is peak comedy to laugh at, not laugh with. God was cooking when he created this joke of a human being. Bro is man tyke in real life. Why do you even exist? Ah, ha, 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 ha. You're both so funny. So funny. You are right. I am trash. I am the worst one here for some reason. I have been a fool. I was blinded by the lure of adventure. I have endangered the realms and betrayed the elder gods. The blame is mine alone. But I'm still better than you two Heliolis Cumpers. I might just hit you both with the memento or healing wish. I'll set up the team for next episode. But after that, you're on your own, bitches. Fuck y'all and Joe Mamas. Donald J. Trump catch him is peacing out. Deuces, suck you later, or whatever that Gary Oak shit was. Um, I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. Let me go try butter his cheeks up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Barack Obama and Joe Biden's duo, Nuzlocke of Pokemon Sapphire. Somehow we ended up outside the Weather Institute since the last play session. And today we will be getting the Devon scope and catching some new Pokemon. What's up, Mr. President? Hey, Barack, taking on our epic rival, may I see? Whoa, whoa, don't you mean bootylicious rival, Joey? You forgot to take your carbos again, didn't you, you little vile plume numpty? I guess something along the lines of that, Barack. I know I'd usually be screaming and moaning and using bubble beam right now, but it just doesn't feel right. I know the 83% unsubscribed viewers are watching, but considering it's just you and I in this call right now, it makes me a little uncomfortable, you know? Well, let me do it for you then, Joe. Ooh, yeah! What comes after April, May? And then my schlongo bongo, Shamona. I'm about to hee hee this gal, no MJ. The electro web is about to unload following the discharge. I don't know if it's just me, Barack, but I feel like something is missing this episode, like a vital part of the president's play experience. I can't put my finger on it. I haven't the slightest clue what you're talking about, Joe. This series is called President's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Presidents, plural, you and I. It doesn't say the Tragic Trio, the Sea Salt Trio, the Destiny Trio, the Wug Trio, nothing like that. Stop questioning the series and let me cook. Maybe I am just imagining things. You're making quick work of my pre-ordered wife here, Barack. I'm proud of you. Pre-ordered wife? Now that's the type of creepy stuff I was waiting for, buddy old pal. I strive to be the creep god, Barack. Well, it's nice to see she still has that slow bro on her team from the second fight. I think it has Psycho Boost, but I'm not too certain. Which one of us even fought her on that route, Joe? Maybe it was one of our special guests. I think John Wick blew her to smithereens back in episode six, which sucks because I really wish she would blow me to smithereens. Bummer. Now we're talking. That's my bestie that I was waiting for. Lap her ass has got to get out of here though ASAP. No Rocky. Peak has signal beam, so maybe she can chip away at this bulky douche canoe. What about a thunderbolt from day one, Barack? I would say that would kill. Not a bad option, Joe, but just to be safe, I'll bring out our higher HP monster instead. With the increase in enemy trainer levels, I'm not even going to play risky from now on. I will try and focus my energy into every move I make. As Tupac once said, is that a gun? Oh, Christ, don't shoot me. I don't really see the relevance of that quote, but still I see no changes. Can a brother get a little peace? It's war on the street and the war in the Middle East. Hashtag it's time to nuke racism, am I right? Anyways, Barack, have you been doing much lately? Well, actually, Joe, funny you say that. I've been watching these videos from alternate timelines of us playing through other Pokemon games. There's a Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Yellow series. Those two are my faves at the moment. But there's this orange prick who features alongside us. I can't even remember his name. I just skip forward 10 seconds until his chat tot screech using voice is done speaking. Thank God he doesn't exist in our videos, right? He sounds like a heavy metal sack of Shaka Zulu. Leave my ancestors out of this, Joe. Also, it's about time we got a confusion with Signal Beam. Now smack yourself real good, you molasses bro bro. Slow bro is low key a threat on this file. We better stay sharp like a car tonneau when this thing appears. Couldn't agree more, oldster Joey. All she has left is the ace of her team, which if memory serves me correct, is not that hard of an obstacle to overcome. Linoon! Ah! He always loved Linoon! Who always loved Linoon, Joe? Huh. Uh, I'm not sure. That was just a natural reaction I got from watching the game right now. Very strange. I do apologize. It's okay, Joe. Just don't go around spreading lies and pretending anybody likes this mon. If you hail Lord Ziggy, that's fine. Just don't bring up his evolution. The Bible is against that, remember? Don't blame my homeboy Joe Sweet Crust for that. He didn't write the book. He just read whatever was in the motherfucking book. 
I'm in the mood for some sugar-free black coffee on the beat all of a sudden. I should probably stop dissing this lie noon and its entire lineage because she is crippling the MVP of the team as the turns go on with Sludge Bomb. A crispy rain-boosted stab surf from Boo Boo should be more than enough to drain this rodent of her life. I guess we have to be more thankful that we have each other Barack, two of the greatest nuzz lockers and buzz cockers the world has ever seen. If we had a third person helping us with this run, they'd probably be as useful as an archaeops and let us down. I guess what I'm trying to say is, thank you, Barack, for being my partner in crime and partner in time. No Mario Brothers. Oh, Joe Chuan, I'd love to be your Mario Brother partner in time. That game is a freaking masterpiece. That final boss theme slaps. Before I get sidetracked, go ahead and say goodbye to your waifu or side piece or your star piece or whatever this situation ship is. Although this girl sparks love in my heart, she ain't my main act trick. She's my side act trick. Sayonara, maybe baby. If you love them, let them go. That's why I always release my 31.6 IV competitive Pokemon after each generation officially ends. It's funny we bring up the Mario RPGs because recently those fans have been eating good. We have two remakes of arguably top two Mario RPGs of all time, the Thousand Year Door and Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. You bet your bottom dollar I will have both of them on day one. No ho-ho. Super Mario RPG? Now that is the only one just for me. Never got through Geno's maze though. At least you gave up once the music hit literal peak, Joe. Gave up? I've been trying daily for over 27 years now and I still can't follow this blue cursed ass clown. Maybe they'll make it easier in the remake and give the player a sat-nav or Apple Maps. Apple Maps? That would just make it harder, Joe. Keep up with the times. Shut up, Barack, you manky mother lover. I hope you're having a good day, darn it. Well, screw you too, Mr. Biden, you squishy, squawkabilly built bestie. I wish there was some outside factor that allowed us to express our rage properly within these episodes, like some pudgy, great, tusk-built moron. Anyways, I'm just surfing down south to pick up a few items before entering Fort Tree City. Hey, yo, what the dog doing? He's level 41. Holy Palkia, that is hella high. Don't worry, I'm just shape-shifting into this woof-woof to see what moves our own dog will learn once he reaches level 41. The body slam and high jump kick combination, would you believe, is decent coverage, since it can cover the rock and steel checks that would resist our normal type attacks. While false swipe isn't ideal, there are still plenty of Pokemon to catch on this adventure, so that would definitely come in handy for the next few episodes. Maybe I should swap Dog to the front of the party so he directly gains more EXP. I wouldn't really worry about that, Barack. There's still a few trainers left on this route, and it's raining. His fire fist won't be doing much, and a surprise water gun could do some seriously irreparable damage out of nowhere. Like an RKO. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Just let that doggo chill in the back building up some experience for now, day one or lap, or ask and cook instead. Very insightful information, Joe. For some reason, this episode just feels stress and diabetes free. So I feel like I can communicate with you from the soul, you know? Man to man, goaded president to goaded president, lover to lover. This is coming from my heart, not Sukuna's, just to let you know. No spoilers, but have you been keeping up with the Jujutsu Kaisen manga? Speaking of, we've actually added a JJK and One Piece spoiler talk to the Discord, as well as a section to discuss any Pokemon-related adventures that members are currently going on. It's a lot of fun to see what everyone is up to or thinks of the latest chapters, so be sure to join using the link down below. We are also accepting mod applications for the server, since GP is an inadequate wishy-washy and doesn't even understand how a thread works. I'll all out pummel his nutsack later to compensate. Anyways, to answer your question, I haven't been keeping up Barack, but hopefully Fraud Kuna will start biting back soon. It's go Jover for him. Excuse me, you insolent sunkern? Care to repeat that to the king of curses and king of stealing elderly people's purses? Psych! I'm not even giving you the chance. While you were busy plugging the Discord, day one had adapted to your infinity Biden barrier. I then copy and pasted that knowledge onto my moveset while holding a wiki berry, therefore restoring my cursed energy meter, allowing me to raw level three sand slash your ass into the grass frame one. Omaiwa, Mo Shinderu. How in ponyta piss did you manage to kill me in less than 0.01 seconds? None of it even made sense. Still makes more sense than the latest chapter. All right, time to diffuse this cure in black and take this shitty little Zekrom out of me. Oh, thank God. And to think I was going to listen to that man and shove a gerbil in my ass through a tube. 
Anyways, I take it you called me here for a reason, you Cyrus preaching scoundrel. I won't keep you long, Barbara. I'll make it snappy. I've watched how ass your gameplay has been over the past couple of episodes, and I have a proposal. I would like to make a binding vow with you. Here are my conditions. First, when I say the word in chain, we swap out for an entire battle and I take control of the gameplay. I will literally play as optimally as possible and solo the poor trainer I end up against. Second, you forget that we ever made this vow. How does that sound? That sounds fine, but what's the catch? Why does there have to be a catch? I just want a good old fashioned Pokemon battle where I can rip the opponent to shreds. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, you're right. Here's my final rule. If we end up using this pack before the series ends, you must let a Pokemon die for free during the Elite Four. But what if we don't need your switcheroo? Well, then you play the E4 as normal. Hmm, I'm not sure if you can be trusted. Then eat this critical pursuit. Goodbye, day one. Okay, fine, I accept. Ha, I'll give you the flame body proc as an apology. Could you really not calculate that pursuit crit damage, Barack? You poor slowpoke head, I have a feeling you'll need my help sooner rather than later. Uh, what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Joe, you're alive? How in the Sizzlipede did you survive? I never go around without quick revive, Barack. As they say, if you want to get up, you need a little revive. It's insane how Sukuna one-shot me through my juggernaut, though. That lucky punch bastard double swiped me. How dare he? Did I miss anything while I was unconscious? I don't think so, Joe. But I get the feeling that something terrible has been done in our time away. Let's try break away from whatever that craziness was and ask our comment question. Sure thing, my closest companion. What have you got for us today? Here's my question for the viewers and yourself, Joe. Who is your favorite looking shiny Pokemon? There are a lot of great answers to this question, so choose wisely. Let me start. My pick is a bit unconventional. My favorite is Blacephalon. His regular design as it is looks pretty wacky and insane, but the shiny version turns his body blue and he looks like a raving disco ball from the club. Brings me back to my younger days to when they literally invented the disco ball. The lights are complemented much more on the blue body coloring than the white. Out of all shinies, I'm sure nobody was expecting a creepy self-imploding bomber man to be my answer, but for some reason I just really dig it. Brings me back to the days when a foxy lady called Blacephalon would blow me in the club. Forget Sloppenheimer, that was some literal bomb head. My answer has to be Milo Tick. It's a simple one, but goddamn is it effective. The golden scales complement the newly blue shaded eyebrows magnificently. It is true beauty in Pokemon form. But the main reason I love it is because of how elusive it feels. First, you have to go through the trouble of finding a Feebas, which can take literal hours to do. Then spend another ungodly amount of days or even weeks fishing or breeding to try and obtain the shiny version. Then after jumping through more hoops to evolve it, you finally get to witness a phenomenal sight. It also helps that this gorgeous creature is competitively viable with it being a defensive wall. Elusive, Feebas, a wall? Hold on, I'm starting to remember something. A rotund elephant mother plucker. Something, something done. Don, something. Don, 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 Don. Don fan. That's probably what you're thinking about Joey McSlowey. Anyways, I'm getting right back into sweeping these trainers with day one. It feels good to be on top again. We also have an encounter on this route that we can't forget. It's never good news if Sukuna is popping up, so we need all the firepower we can get. It's been a while since he's appeared in one of these episodes. I wonder when he's going to show his Wimpod ass again. He literally fucking murdered you five minutes ago. How have you forgotten your own death within an episode, Joe? Nah, bro, ain't no way. I would have remembered taking him down to Brown Town Barack. Besides that, I'm always forgetting my near deaths. I've literally been running from the Grim Reaper himself for how many millennia now? Christ on a mock bike, Joe, you have more plot armor than Elaine's Charizard. Like seriously, how in the distortion world did Ash's Grey Ninja lose in that fight? That man is busted AF, but just because Ash wasn't allowed to win a Pokemon League yet, his poor team had to catch some fat L's. I'm pretty sure I was catching some fat Z's during that fight. You're always catching Z's tiresome Joe. Back on track, it's been a whole episode since our last wild encounter, so let's make this a good one. Sunny side up, just the way I like them. I'm gonna presume you mean the egg part, not the baby part. But before this gets weird, let me just say, I love Togepi. It is God tier Pokemon design. In the anime, that little guy was so dang adorable. Gen 1 stands are back on top where we belong. The fact that it's an egg Pokemon 
which was foreshadowing the breeding mechanic for gold and silver, is also a 5,000 IQ play from Game Freak. A bit weird to think the bottom half of the Togepi egg is the exact same one it was born in, but that's a bit nitpicky. Although I usually want to drain all the blood from baby Pokemon, or just babies in general, should I say, Togepi is actually all right. Its final evolution, Togetic, is pretty cool, if not a little underpowered. I still like him, though. You know, it evolves into Togekiss from Gen 4 onwards, Joe, right? Wait, really? Hold on, let me open Microsoft Edge to Yahoo search what this thing looks like. I'm pretty sure your brain operates on Bing, Joe, either that or Windows 95. That would explain why your IRL speed stat is so low. I'm telling you, it's because I'm always carrying around this lagging tail between my legs. I saw that he has synthesis, which is a great healing move. That means we can use him on our OP Sun team that definitely synergizes with each other. I can't wait to use this chubby little guy. What the, what the hurt your hell was that? Let's just ignore that for now, Joe. Before Giratina scoops me up Afton style, what are you going to nickname this Eggy Weggy Barack, my savior? Well, of course, I'm going to pay my respects to the best season of the anime by nicknaming this cute little powerhouse Chucky. Oh, for falling's sake. Why is it always when I bring up FNAF, creepy shit starts to happen? I spook easily, Barack, but I have to ask, why Chucky? Because in the show, Togepi says, Chucky, 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 pre. On God, I implore you to go listen to him speak. I cannot unhear it. I suppose Halloween is coming up next in terms of useless holidays, but that's not part of my faith, so leave me out of this Barack. What are you going on about, Joe? Even though you're Jewish, you still have to celebrate Halloween. I'm not Jewish. I've told you I'm shroomish. I pray to Lord Berloom six times a day. I pray he spores me beyond the afterlife and further beyond the boundaries of death. I wish to Jiraki that he choice ban my punches my kneecaps for all of my sins I perform in the morning. Then I pray nine more times in the evening after doing some moderately evil sins. They're bad, but nothing compared to what I do every day at dawn. This is the salvation I aim for, for he alone is the honored one. What the hell do you do to dawn every day? You know what? Just shut up, Joe, before I murk you. Oh, it's a baby version of our editor, GP. Does he call himself a haunch crow because he thinks he's a pimp or a mafia boss? That's super de duper cringe, I can't lie. Well, there's our first sand complimented ability, I suppose. Her stats are actually okay. They almost look like a normal Merc Rose, fast with decent defenses. If she just had better moves, she would be a pretty reliable member. For now, I'll just take the EXP share and funnel it to Dog. We have a static catch up ahead too. I just have to no scope this invisible Rotom hacking little shit off the bridge first. Just don't get a collateral with Steve-O. I wanna see a jackass five before I ascend to heaven, gosh darn it. A putrid little insect. Reminds me of an old friend. A small, insignificant little worm. Oh, who am I kidding? He wasn't small. I can't even remember his cheek stuffed name. Spoilers to the viewers, but this thing is getting caught in the first ball. Enough said. The pool of bug types to evolve into isn't particularly great in this generation, but at least it's a fast evolution. We should be able to witness it before the end of this episode. What a cheerful and eventful day it has been. Why can't it be like this every week? What are you going to call this scraggly little skaboodle? Well, Wormpole always reminds me of the boss Empress Bullblax from Pikmin. And this one happens to be a female, so I'll call her Bullblax. Say that reminds me, didn't you buy Dickman for something a couple of weeks ago, Joe? I keep seeing trailers for it on the hub and it looks erotic. Have you beaten it yet? I have not beaten off four men's dicks simultaneously yet, Barack. I'm slowly but surely getting there. I think Gordon Ramsay was the one who bought that game when he was featured a while ago. It sounds like something he would do slash cook slash play slash enjoy. I think you're right there, Joe Cephalon. I know you saw my sniping skills earlier with the Devon scope. Gordon is actually the one who taught me how to use it back in the Modern Warfare two days. I ain't talking about the shitty remakes, the OG Xbox 360 days before they fell off. No shot. You're capping Barack. Are you for realsies? Did you forget the orgs that wanted me on their teams for the circuits back in the day? I went beast mode with the intervention. Let me demonstrate again. Skippity bop, beep bop bop pow. I can see why FaZe wanted you so badly on their Modern Warfare 2 team for MLG 2010. That'll teach that roly-poly Snorlax wannabe blocking the way looking ass. The voices, I keep hearing them. Just release those damn kids from your basement and you won't have to listen to their cries, Joe. Or for God's sake, just feed them and I guarantee you they will stop. 
While this voice sounds like a child's, and I can definitely imagine them begging for a hundred happy meals, it's built different from the others. It's like he's been shut off, possibly exiled to ultra space. What could we possibly do? Well, you seem to get these dimensional screams whenever you bring up fat Pokemon in a negative light. That's one piece of the puzzle, but what you would do from there, I'm not quite sure. Maybe to fill this dark void, we have to start throwing our love balls out into the open. If you've unzipped your pants, Barack, now is your chance to put those bad boys away. Shit! Uh, what are you talking about? Ha ha ha, great plan. Joe, let's start expressing our appreciation for whatever it is that we've lost. Hey, mysterious figure, I miss you like a focus blast. I love you more than a heart scale holding love disc. I'm attracted to you like a magneton. Who has the ability, cute charm. You may just be the needle king to my needle queen. To keep things simple and clean, the future with you doesn't scare us at all. Nothing, Nothing is, is like, like before. before. Me. Donald, it was you the whole time. Oh my God, it's all coming back to me now. I remember what it is I lost. Oh, Joe, such a warm welcome back. You miss me? Strong words, you choke artist. We had lost our dead weight team player. This episode was missing an oversized garganackle built shit talker, a Draco Zolt looking mistake. How could I forget you, Donald, you Dynamax disappointment? Ha ha ha, screw you too, AZ. I hope you haven't been touching any ogre pawns while I've been gone. You phalanx feeler. I'm starting to remember now too, guys. The series was missing the Doug Trio. It looks like our destinies have brought us back together. I don't appreciate the over-representation of white people between the three of us, but whatever. That's not the point. Nah, Donald's representing the Tangerines, Barack. He ain't white in my eyes. We don't accept him into the Cool Chucks clan. Oh, sweet. Forgive me. Guess we repping all sorts of ethnicities here. Say, Donald, what did you get up to while you were gone? Well, fellas, I went on a bit of a journey while I was away. Let me just say, it wasn't easy. First, I started to reflect on why I was playing like such law punny cheeks, but I couldn't come to a definitive conclusion. So I pushed my body to its absolute limit. I 100%ed Pokey Park Pikachu's adventure with just one hand. I beat Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia using my toes to draw the capture circles. And I grinded out the Battle Palace silver medal. Whoa, 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 calm down. Someone get the medic, he's gone insane. Joe's right, Donald. They force US prisoners to play an hour of the Battle Palace whenever they cause further trouble in their cells. I've heard they even use that mode as a torture device in some countries. Guys, trust me, I literally went through it. I even set the battle text to slow for extra pain. Youch. You must be a shell of a man right now. And that's just for silver? If I've learned anything, it's this. Seriously, fuck that facility. Don't worry, I'll get the gold symbol next season. As awful as all that sounds, I'm glad to hear the Donald training arc has been a resounding success. What power up did you end up getting? All will be revealed in due time annihilate. Let's just celebrate the fact that I'm back in this biz niche. Be honest, how much did you guys miss me? Well, did I miss much while I was gone? Guys, it's been like 40 minutes. Can one of you freak choose answer me? You didn't miss much. Great communication, you frost last munchers. I'm sure glad to be back. You're back for this immaculate evolution. Be grateful, you sleazy, cheesy slur puff. I don't know how to explain this phenomenon, but this Evo is making my body use Harden for some reason. It looks like we will have to wait until next time to unlock this chick's potential. Say, Joe, I don't know about you, but all of a sudden I don't have the energy to continue. I'm going to sign off for today. Thanks for co-hosting the best episode to date. You're the greatest as always. Oh, Barack, I couldn't have done it without your dazzling performance. I'll see you Tuesday for our next secret group orgy. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the President's Play, Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode, Barack and I were getting along like a plusle and minin', but then flump-faced Donald here made it feel like a Zangoose and Siviper gang war. Today, we are taking on the sixth gym. You always have such a way with words, Joe. Hope you're doing well, my boy. It looks like this gym is going to be either an ice or a ground-type theme, judging by the opposing swine-up. Hopefully we get ground. How are we today, guys? I'm absolutely fantastic, Barack. Did you both see the comment section sucking me off last episode because I was missing? What can I say? I'm literally the goat. I only watched half of the previous episode before going into a Mackey's food coma. These videos are so boring without me, god damn. I missed you, Donald. I can't wait to excadrill sweep your confidence by the end of this episode again. Bullying you is just too damn easy. 
Ay, ay, ay. My little butterfly. Okay, okay, I'm not one to dunk on bad Pokemon, but this mask on, mask off little guy is pretty ass if I do say so myself. One switch into Stealth Rocks and she is instantly dead. Yes, Stealth Rocks. That hazard that definitely exists in this game, you dipshit. Her HP and special stats are actually pretty great. Plus, why do you always have to judge a Pokemon by its battling capabilities? I think Masquerain has one of the best designs ever. Ah, oh, that's sweet of you, Barack. Thanks, Joe. I especially love the fact its head looks like a bong. And there it is, Barack Obama, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I just want to put it out there that I'm very nervous having to play today. The gym leader of this gym is, well, I don't want to say... Your wife? What the frick? How did you both know? Well, you let that slip a couple episodes ago, Joe, but I'm not surprised you've used amnesia since then. Side note, it looks like we got ground type, and if Rock Tomb from Groudon is only doing 10 damage to our doggo, then I think this gym is pretty much in the bag. The only thing in the bag is that fresh Colombian Coca-Cola, Donnie, because I may have screwed us over. Oh, Tepig on a spit roast. What have you done now, Joe? Here's the thing. When I drafted out a complex diagram of which one of us would be playing the game at each point in this playthrough, Barack was actually meant to fight Winona last episode. However, you threw a water shuriken in the mix when you got fucking blazed in episode 7. And your Snoopy Doo looking ass decided to do the Trick Master's house instead. That pushed back everything by one episode, and now I have to fight my gym leader of a wife. Now physically, I have never had an issue with beating the living daylights out of her. But here's where the issue lies. When we got married, I made a vow that I would never beat her in a Pokemon battle. It would be a disgrace to her title and job, plus she would literally be worthless to me as that bitch can't even cook a dry coconut curry. Who can't cook that shit? All you do is nut straight into a bowl of rice and the dish is done. Wow, Joe, that is a crazy callback, I must say. But there's something I don't understand. What happens if you win in the battle? Does she send a Hitman or Hitmonchan or Inteleon assassin after you or something? Even worse, we get a divorce. Wait, that's all? You made it out to be a worse punishment, no Zoroark? Shut your bitch ass up, you literal Zoroark! Winona is my fucking one true love, my childhood crush, my teen lover, my adult dream gal. Why do you think I gush and cream over an Altaria so much? Because we first made love on that thing flying around Hoenn. Sorry, boys, I know this run means a lot to you, but if I have to use Explosion and end it here, I would rather do that so I could use Explosion in her guts tonight. No flame orb. Whoa, whoa. Use calm mind there, Joe. Let's relax a bit. I think you're just afraid of entering back into the singles bracket of love, aren't you? If that's the case, Donald and I can give you a few pointers and pokey pickup lines if you so doom desire. I would love to pick up Pokimane and Batista Bomber through a steel chair. Let's do this shit, Barack. For Joe! Wait, let me use Water Pulse on her before you skull bash your face, Dondre the Giant. You already catch my drift limb, Joe. I know there are some single fellas and single she-males out there that watch these videos looking for a bit of love. So how about we give them some of our best hits we've used throughout the years? You can jot them down as well, Joe, so you can drop these big, sexy one-liners next time you're at the playground. I don't need your corny, thwacky-ass puns. I'll have you know, I've gotten plenty of bitches in my days. Honestly, what I can say is the chicks with dicks from the Middle Ages hit different. You couldn't tell if anyone was a guy or a girl. Shit had me looking like Professor Oak. I kept asking what their gender was, even though they were right in front of me. Obviously, I couldn't give a rattata, and we would use swords dance anyway. Although there was nothing I craved more than a choice banded lick from the Mona Lisa herself. Just finish this dumbass puzzle. I don't know anyone that likes this knockoff Tetris gimmick. It's so freaking dumb. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this series. I'm going to let my loving wife sweep our team. So be sure to like and subscribe and join the Discord. And Listen be sure to me, to you shed ninja muncher. We are not losing the run here. Maybe we can reignite your talon flame of love with our romance. Are you with me, Donald? I like that idea, Barack. I've got a couple of whoppers in the chamber, so how about we let them off? Whoppers? You have broken your McDonald's contract for the last fucking time, Donald. I can just end the episode if you guys want to Press go. Press A right now. Reggie Biden. Oh, muck sandwich. Well, since you dildo scratchers have caused this breakup, give me some new material world to work with here. For I am the material girl, after all. All right, I'll start. If you want a girl to be interested in you, all you got to do is walk up to them, tap them on the shoulder, and whisper this in their ear. Hey, shawty, I'm trying to divide that pink pussy like Audino. What's up? That was atrocious. Don't listen to him, Joe. Try this. Camera up my anus and call me Daddy Maxie. There is so much wrong with that, I don't know where to begin. Oh, I got one. 
Is your name Fionn? Because I'll rearrange your guts and turn you on like a new iPhone. Ooh, okay, that was bars. I'll give you that, Donald. Both of your bars are ass on a cheese platter. I can't believe I'm going to tear my lover apart in a Pokemon battle. I wish it was physically, and so would she. I'm going to switch out dog since he's feeling drowsy. That chancy lucky bastard. More like, I'd love to chancy those panties hit the floor? Huh? Make me drop my pants like a scrafty and I can start spamming foul play. Don't let that intimidate you, baby. My dick will blow you up like a quilladin. If you want the seed bomb, you gotta hit the wood with the hammer. Are you implying you want your schlong smashed in by a mallet? Let me guess, your shorty rides with that gigaton hammer? Wait, Joe, Winona wants to know what your favorite Pokemon type is? What? I thought she already knew. Obviously, it's dragon type. I'm dragging these nuts across her face, then I put the apple in her mouth. She let it ripen, then took them out, saying, damn, these apples weigh a ton. Okay, you're totally delusional, Donnie. I think you're just imagining this Imagine scenario. dragging these nuts across her face. Then I put the apple in her mouth again. Go to it! Okay, pause with the bane net. Was that demonic screech you just let out, Barack? I think that was a DN overload, Donald. Don't worry about it. Ask Candace about it later. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Although most of your lines have been shitter than a cacnea, they are somewhat giving me the motivation to plow through my wife in a Pokemon battle, unfortunately not in the soul chambers where we usually do it. Can I join in and give you some hot foie cocoa pickup lines? All right, the floor is open and the mic is yours, MC Blowy. Drop some pure crocolore on these hoes. One time for the frickety frick frick one time. Here it is, the Inferno Overdrive. Okay, here I go. Let a shadow Venusaur rave on me until my penis soar. Huh, well? Well, that was just a letdown. You said it, Obama. Beyond disappointing, I must say. What jigglies have you been puffing, Joe? What about this? I'll ride you like how sleepy Joe fucks dead guard of wires. Oh, damn, ain't that a darn tootin' good one? Not peek, please. You can't just get pissy, Joe, because one of your pickup lines fell flat. Stop acting like such a privileged little shit and get your act together. Sorry, boys, I lost my cool there for a second. I sincerely apologize. I'll take your criticism better next time. Gomen Nasai. That Japanese was more scuffed than your gameplay, and that's saying something. Barack, get us back on track with the love liners, will you? I thought you'd never ask Donnie. Let me tell you about this chick I met last week at the bar. I walked up to a shoddy and said, yo, you a beauty, and you fly. She said, what chew want? I said, well, I'm trying to ride chew more like. Maybe get that dick slurp twice, call it crane dose She said, you're pretty tentacool, but I ain't trying to absorb all that. I'm gonna make like a stun fisk and bounce. I told her I wasn't leaving without getting some of that tail on the low. Let's just say she did more than that. She gave that double sloppy hit Montapi, and at the end she swallowed. It was super effective. That was insane, Barack. Funny enough, last week I met up with a goth girl at an anime convention. She was cosplaying gender-bent Ichigo in his hollowed form. I strolled up and said, Hey, yo, baby, don't drop your mask, or else I'ma have to call you Mummy. Mummy? Are you British? What is you talking about, Don Dozo? Mummy, you know, like Mommy, like Mommy Milker's goth girl step on me, GF. <laughs> See? Barack gets it. I told her if you need more heat, I can heat more. If you role play as Durant, I will eat your insides. Next time you see a pokey gal you want a cue bone, hit her with this. Just saying I'm trying to make you bloom like a vile plume, yet keep your mouth dripping like a gloom. That sounds bell awesome. Run it back, Donny boy. I said to her, when I'm done with you, you'll have to pull the stick out your ass like a Brakeson. Are you a magician like Hoopa? Because every time we meet, you make my clothes disappear. You're just like an ancient prison bottle of Chardonnay. You age like the finest wine. Oh, hell no. I'm not letting that fly, you wanna be Fletchinder? That one was awful. What about this? I can promise you my dick is not a galissapod. It won't make an emergency exit after its first hit. I don't think you're getting the punches with these lines, Joe. How about you just focus on the battle? Anywho, Donathan, recently I met with a cat named Lytton. I told her I'm trying to see if that pussy is fire while I make you incineroar. I want to wrap you up in my white string shot, spupa style. I prefer scattering my bugs across her face. Nice one, Joe. Now you're getting the hang of it. Fun fact, your mom used rain dance on me last night. I think it worked because my naughty polytoad started to drizzle. What do you guys think about this one? Hey baby, if we started dating, let's move to you, Nova. Because the first route I'd love us to explore is for you to pat the rat. Damn, even though Gen 5 is dog dookie buns, you were spitting with that one Joe. Wait, Osama is gonna die. Dodge it! You were close. Hold on guys, I've got the ultimate pickup line. Hey, Zeus on a tricycle, Joe, that was too close for comfort. You better prove your worth and learn from all the wisdom Donnie and I have bestowed upon you. Listen up. In the sheets, my game freaks, 
I asked her, can we take the best parts of our X and Y and make a Pokemon Z? Damn, Joe. You get a round of applause from me on that. Officially Pokey Bar of the episode. Well done, bestie. Same here, Josephine. You came out of that battle with no casualties and left half of our audience soaked like a sobble. Thanks, you two, but I really couldn't have done it without your help. This will make losing the White House and kids to Winona so much easier. We got Luster Purge, which is a massive freaking dub, and I think I'm gonna slap it on day one to solidify his beast of a moveset. Oh crap, Baskets, I never realized the consequences of this divorce going through. No, I need the White House unoccupied for when I win the election in 24, damn it. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed that last segment. I know the guys have been cooking those lines with our editor for a few weeks now, and I can't wait to see them plagiarized all over TikTok and Facebook and Twitter and Croc Rock. Oh damn, I just thought of one. Rock my cock like a croc. Did you guys have any leftover? Yeah, I actually had one left, Joe. I'll leave you unaware like Glenn Quagsire. Giggity, giggity. All righty then, thank God you left that cringe one out, Barack. I'm gonna fly back to Petalburg so we can finally get our encounter for that city with the good rod. I'll go to the Scorch Slab on Route 120 and get an encounter in there also. That little cave off the coast of Fortree City? According to Bulbapedia, there are no wild Pokemon in that cave in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Only the remakes. As I said, I'll go to the Scorch Slab on Route 120 and get an encounter in there also. Do you just not believe a fucking word I say? You'll be wasting your damn time trying to get into a battle there, Joe. I'm with Donald on this one. Please don't waste our time, Joe. Every episode of yours, you waste so much time doing the most pointless shit. Please, I beg of you. If it's pointless and it drags out, that's what our editor is for. Even though he is a goomy looking sack of Chewia, he knows when it's best to cut out the boring crap. So why doesn't he just mute your stupid ass every episode, Joe? Giggity, giggity. Well, who could have guessed we would catch another water type? Welcome back to the president's monotype water run of Pokemon Sapphire. If it was Ruby, it would be a mono ground challenge. I see what IGN meant by too much water now, for fuck's sake. All jokes aside, Quagsire is a great Pokemon. I know his ability is partially why he has been viable for so many years. But this derpy little guy also has a brilliant type combination. If he is even slightly bulky in either of his defensive stats, we should be in a favorable position. Just please don't lose dog while you try capture him, Joe. Do you want me to do the guaranteed giggity ritual then, Barack? I mean, I wasn't gonna force palm you, Joe, but please, if you wouldn't mind. No, no, it's fine. I'm a little rusty, that's all, so please forgive me. Giggity gig, giggity giggity, giggity giggity gig gig giggity, giggity giggity, gig giggity, giggity 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 gig giggity. That shit doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. I'm presuming I don't have to ask what this goober is being nicknamed, do I? Dead right, Donald. There's no need to ask. Joe is naming this guy after the secret safe word he uses with your mama. It's ironic, because Quagsire also looks like my penis. Time to go scorch some slabs. Oh no, he's genuinely going to try find a wild Pokemon in a cave with no Pokemon. Lord Arceus in heaven above, please save us. Why didn't anybody tell me there was no Pokemon in that shitty little cavern? What a waste of time. What day is it? How many hours until the dawn rises? Slowly losing the will to live. Joe, please ask comment question before I perish. No song. Oh yeah, I forgot we do those. Today's question is simple. What is your favorite alternate form, Pokemon? I don't mean regional variant. I mean just Pokemon who have form changes like the Rotoms, the Oricorios, etc. My favorite is Duskmane Necrozma. This is like the Vegito of the Pokemon verse. His only bad stat is speed, but with such an incredible psychic steel typing, does it really matter? This regal lion will chew your ass up in a second. You know a Pokemon is going to be good when it learns Stealth Rock as a level up move. This thing is practically the poster child for uber power creep in Generation 8. My personal favorite is the Dragon Dance set, as sweeping little wusses online with it brought about some salty comments, let me tell you. Do I even need to comment on how badass its design is? Wait a minute, you just obtained total redemption from me, Joe. My fave form has to be Landurus Therian. You said Duskmane is the poster child of Ubers? Well, this Nimbus riding beast is the biggest celebrity of OU. Your viability in X and Y was determined by one question. Do you hold up well against Lando T? They even tried to sneakily nerf him by removing knockoff in Scarlet and Violet, but that didn't stop my boy from grass-nodding Great Tusk into the Shadow Realm. His versatility is beyond absurd. 
choice scarf, band lefties, Rocky helmet, the list goes on and on and on. Until we get a bustedly fast ice type that can smoke Lando in one shot consistently, he will remain the king of overused. The only downside was paying real life money to get him. But hey, that's what PK Hex is for. Am I right? I agree with your choice, Joe, as the Necrozma forms totally saved that Pokemon from being forgettable. Lando T, on the other hand, was totally unnecessary. As regular Landorus is so busted, they've tried to test him so many times and he consistently gets banned from OU. Why can't they give an alternate form to a Pokemon that needs it, like Love Disc or something? What are you talking about? We already have its evolution, Aloma Mola Barak. Let me smoke these trainers real quick before we continue. See, that's one thing I never understood. The designs between Love Disc and Aloma is just too similar to not be some sort of evolution, which it desperately needed. I hate to sound like Trump, but that was one thing about black and white that always annoyed me. You're slowly starting to see the light Barak. It's like how Bufalant should have been an evolved form of Tauros, and everyone would have totally been okay with it too. It's cheap DMC, reboot looking ass, just gets worse and worse the more you think about it, trust me. Okay, well, Brock, you still have to answer what your favorite alternate form is. Let me just run into our potential next capture before you go on your stupid chimchar ass tangent. You motherfuckers manifested this. Another water type. I'm gonna kill him. Murder, murder, murder on the dance floor. Blame yourself, Ancient Gear Evolved Graveler. My favorite form change is Deoxys. In the Generation 3 games, it was a pure mind blow which form you would get. And on the school playground, nobody knew why it kept transforming as it traded between games. Then when you could choose your form at will in Diamond and Pearl, the lead game changed as we knew it forever. Deoxys Speed ran a monopoly on the entry spot. It was layers upon layers of spikes and mind games. Who would taunt? Who would trick? Who would shadow ball? Did the opponent have sash? The schmixies this form brought with it were ridiculous, and the other forms brought their own unique playstyle to Ubers. All answers, very solid gentlemen. Viewers, don't forget to leave your answer in the comment section below, along with a like and subscription. All Creamy is a very close runner up to Lando, in my opinion. The amount of options you have to change this Pokemon's appearance is incredible. I love how we didn't even do our dramatic pause for this love disc. You just caught it without a pop-off or yelling at all. Joe, I'm proud of you. The amount of attention we have given this thing is already too much for my liking. I'm calling it love dicks, and that's the end of that. He might even be accidentally released in between episodes, who knows. Even if we edited the script so it dies earlier than scheduled, no one will show up for its funeral. Wow, I love this new cold-hearted Sub-Zero Joe. You still have access to the big red button nuke in the bathroom of the White House. Why not use it to drop atomic bombs on this heart-shaped fishy fishy? Because as Grandmaster of the Lin Gay, it would disrespect all of our morals. Plus, if I blow up this totally legit sapphire cartridge, I would lose Dog and Boo Boo. They're like my only friends at the moment, so I can't part ways with them just yet. Cheer up, Joey. We are nearly at the big city. Lily Lily Coco, baby. Where the rich get richer and the poor never make it suckers. The department store could low-key have some serious power-up items available. It may just be the boost in strength we need, as soon enough all enemy trainers Pokemon will be force-evolved to their final stage. Expect to see more legendaries and terrifying monsters from here on out. I'm really starting to feel the pressure this deep into the adventure. Even the wild Pokemon are still keeping up with our levels, which is just scary to think about. But most of the time, they're unevolved randos who can't really do jack diddly or squat to our mons. Case in point, what can a puny little Squirtle do against day one? A four damage bubble beam? Oh, please. Wait, that's four times on low defense. No! Holy crimson chinny chin chin. You are not joking, Barack, when you said that day one can absolutely not eat a rock type move no matter what. That boy almost got bodied by something that's weak against plastic waste. Flame body kind of saving my ass right now. Peak needs to start whipping this dude harder than Barack on the daily. My glute shoots are shuffling right now, guys. That's all I've got to say. Just play patient, Joe. You're almost at the next Pokemon Center, so be as fucking cautious as you can, my brother. Boo Boo tanks pretty well from this guy, probably takes like 12 HP at most from rollout. Whipping it with Peak is still a fine choice, just make sure she doesn't take too much damage. Do critical hits break through the attack cut from burn, does anybody know? I think that only happened in generation one and two, Donald. Good question. Source? Well, it came to me in a dream, so it's pretty real, all right? 
Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure the burn chip kills him from this range, so switching into Boo Boo should be my safest move in case he wants to start rolling around again at the speed of sound. I've got places to go, buddy. I've got to follow my rainbow. Once this roller coaster of an episode is done, I know exactly what song I'll be listening to on repeat for 50 hours straight. Just take it nice and easy through the grass, Joe. Come on, you're a professional at that. We've done it. We made it to Pimp City, bitches. I'm gonna make like a magic carp next episode and splash the cash in that department store. Good shit today, Joe. You put in work against your wife and some of your pickup lines were as good as a bunnel bee. Thanks, boys. My hands are shaky and slimy, so I can't wait to baton pass it over to you next time, Donald. All right, Sligoo. Great work as always. I'm proud of you. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the President's Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I'll be putting May and her stupid little lie noon out of her misery and hand her the last L of this adventure. If a certain Sleepy Joe has any final words to say to her, speak now or forever hold your peace. Good morning to you too, Donald. I'm already May's number one friend on Snappy Chatty, and we've got a 69-day fire emoji streak, whatever that means. So I have a feeling this won't be the last time I'll personally be seeing her. Go nuts, my friend, before she goes on my nuts. How are we today, guys? Already acting out of pocket from your intro, Joe, you never cease to surprise me. I'm doing great, and I'm starting to have hope that we will actually finish this run. You and I didn't let anything faint in our previous two episodes, and your team composition today is hotter than a mag cargo Donald. Considering we are into the last quarter of the game now, it's safe to say we are so back. I'm back, big mad. WTF, what is this? We don't need to throw for content anymore, you agron built imbecile. Chill and nay there, Barack. Ledian is still pathetically weak, even in a randomizer. This wannabe Power Ranger could have launched a Leaf Storm, and Boo Boo would only come out with a small Boo Boo. Leaf Storm was introduced in Diamond and Pearl Gumshoes. You should start stockpiling your mind with information instead of swallowing stacks of Dorito bags, you bum. I literally have more money than the two of you MFs combined. Come back when you make three mil on the daily. Well, you better put your money where your mouth is and literally start sucking my main man, Benjamin. Joe! Why would you suggest that? Better question, why would you even want to see that? That is just creepy as hell, boy -y. Anyway, Donald, I'm sure I don't need to warn you about how terrifying a Metagross can be. Please play carefully around this goon. Damn, this man even has lefties. Don't worry, guys, leave it to above average size D. Ain't no way he get in a crit with Slash, I can see it. If it ain't Mr. Bin Laden, then it's a fiery dog. And if it ain't a fiery dog, it's a glorious mega chicken. Donald getting carried by a legendary part always. I don't even care if he gets carried, Joe. At least he's doing whatever it takes to win the run. I was meant to ask Donnie, but how's the future sight training going? Have you been able to look into the passage of fate and see what reality awaits us? Well, we all live to die, Barack. That's what awaits us at the end of life. A null void of emptiness once you cross the death plane. Just grab the 100 coin star and you can stand on that bitch. Shut up, Joe, you sleepy simply simp. Anyways, I see two things in front of me. This stupid Rudolph-looking ass and tombstones. May will start looking like blue because I'm about to kill her whole team. Dead radicate theory? Let me tell you about the dead lie noon theory. Ah, I get it. Because you'll be making it to Mount Pyre today, Donnie. We will be sure to make a visit to May's team once we send them to the further beyond. While we're there, we might as well visit Winona's pussy. Sorry, guys. I know you should never go back to your ex, but last Wednesday I used every move under the drought setting sun on that poor thing. Beat up, pound, bone club, string shot, water gun, forest, curse, lick, submission. If it's a Pokemon move, I used it on her. What do you mean by I used the move forest's curse? Well, when the bush gets so hairy you need a lawnmower to move south, you pour some lube on the female in question. And when she begins to squirm, that's when All you right, know Joe. the- that's enough of your scarily descriptive sex moves. Legends is at a Chris plus six attack from Belly Drum, so Iron Tail is going to exterminate this freaky rodent. Just use Ice Punch, you knackly nutsucker. Ice Punch isn't physical in this game, remember, Joe? Of course it is. It has Punch right there in its name, dumbass. I should lend you my Iron and Zinc pills, Barack. What's the switch, Donnie? I ain't no pussy. Legends with the YOLO Hail Mary. What the fuck? I got it. He's gonna miss an iron tail will one shot. Extra sensory never misses. You fucking teeny dratini rat bastard. How bad do you have to be at this game holy balls and titty sauce? 
Nice pivot into the doggo, further proving my statement of broken monsters carrying your overweight ass when it's your turn. Holy pidgey puke that was almost choke of the run. If Ente literally took a fiery dump all over the screen right now, there would be less flaming hot dog shit on the field compared to your gameplay. What were you thinking, Donald? Why are you two freaking out? I had that under control the whole time. Chillax like a munchlax. You literally look like an extra large munchlax, you fatso. High jump kick ends the fight. Can you both stop whining now? No, it doesn't, Hiker Donald. OMFG, bro got called a hiker, the tubbiest trainer sprite that ever lived. I heard you like dragons, Donald. You know drud gone, more like blood is gone. You should go into hiding after that roast. Kabapi. Solo sis is flabbergasted. Skim frizzy. You two diplin shits are water spouting such utter nonsense. That's enough. We got that rustic May pack now that I've smoked her ass right into the grass. Any final words, Joe? Sure, two things. First, thank God for rule 34. Second, thank God the FBI is on my side while I use said rule 34 on my bay, May. Would you guys allow me the honor to pump one out for the final time? Ew, no. That's disgusting. What have you been doing while Barack and I have been battling her? I've been honing the hone edge. I've been flooring the auroras. I've been circling the ursaring. Call me Grookey because I've been slamming my dick like a stick. Quite disturbing, Joe. But now that we're in the shopping center, I would like to give a quick thank you to all the donators that got us here. No, not my real life Trump shareholders. I mean the commenters who have actually donated money for us to use in this department store. And of course, fund the series. Thank you to US President Central, who I'm getting deja vu with for some reason. The Poisonous Turtle, Noah Zarens 2416, Mimi C193, and Brandon Scruton. You've all helped the series make it this far, so thank you so much. As if that wasn't crazy enough, I want to give an extra special thank you to Do You Even Lift One for the $20 dono and Samuel Dianqua for the whopping 25 pound donation. Ironically, that's exactly how many pounds I gave Joe's mama last night. I know. I heard all 25 rounds live Obama. Thanks for that, by the way. Finally, before we all get back to being sussy little boys, from our Buy Me A Coffee page, I wanna thank Kevin, who bought 40 socks, and Matthew Grant Henriquez, who bought a staggering 50 socks. Wow, that is a lot of cum. Stop it, Joe. Viewers, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all for the love and support so far in this series. Our editor always says we have the best fans, and for once, that Litwick liquor is right. Anyways, boys, this store is absolutely popping. I grabbed myself 99 Moonstones just in case, a Thunder, Water, and Leaf Stone also, a couple of Lepa Berries for rationing PP better, and some Dive Balls. Great success. Hold up these TMs are where it's at. Substitute is an instant dub. Sketch is sick and Meteor mash my balls. Is this for real? I'm not falling for that after what you did to me last time I mashed your nuts with a Meteor, Barack. Looks like we have eruption or water spout as TM38. Recover on the second one. The next one might be extreme speed, which would honestly just be godlike to have on any of our physical attackers or legends. And the, I, I can't really tell what the last one is. High crit rate though. It might be poison tail, which could be good coverage depending on who wants to learn it. Go ahead and sell our useless TMs, Donnie. It's too risky to use the likes of endure and reversal when we are this deep in the game. And with newfound access to either water spout or eruption, they are way more reliable and powerful. Gotcha, Baraco Taco. Let me just sell a couple of worthless items here while I'm at it. My protein. Regregash! Reggie Steele. Great! You've set off Reggie Biden now for the episode. I hope you're happy, Donatello, you pizza munching milsery. How in all of Goldenrod was I meant to know that selling his pathetic little supplements would do this to him? Pokemon, snap out of this, Joe. Take it like a Mandibuzz. I would take it like an American Mandibuzz and put it in a Japanese Mandibuzz. If you don't get it, just Google its name. I couldn't make that shit up if I tried. Common Generation 5L, muahahaha. I'm out of this joint, suckers. Did that shopping spree get anybody else moist? What's up, boys? I heard one of you are looking for a sponsor to splash some cash in the department store. Moist Cheese Puff or Moist Farmer or Moist Corpse have a ring to it, you know? Oh shit, here we go again. You better watch yourself, Charlie, or I'll pull out the sniper called Skaroopy and I'll let the bug bite. Let me one-up you, Donnie. The chopper called Drapian and you don't want to cross this poison. I'll unload a full clip in your ass. You want to be Jesus. You buffoons, they're fucking mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummies. 
Okay, wet man, give us some space here. The drenched Scooby snack is evolving our pussy right now. Shit, you jackasses caught Sneeko? You should plug your cum sock merch now, Mr. President, while the triggered audience is present. Oh my god, thank you. I keep telling these guys they'll fly off the shelves, but they never believe me. Thanks, damp dude. Well, lick and tongue my balls, that was a pleasant surprise. Have you guys made a Sloppenheimer joke yet? Only like 50 gazillion times, you happy feet bastard. Let's see what cheap fuck evolves into. I have high hopes for this guy. He is my main in Smash Brothers brawl after all. <laughs> Obama is in fully automatic mode. Watch his mags, boys. Wait, I just realized. Didn't we already have John Wick on this series before? So all of a sudden, the fake messiah shows up and we get two worthless evolutions. Now that I have to bench a fucking lie noon, I might as well start shoving blue potatoes in the land down under while a beluga whale blows me in the middle of the Pacific. How is that for moist, you bamboozler? Hey, leave Penguin Z0 out of this, buddy. He could cancel your ass with his moist meter and I ain't talking about his dong. So who wants the sponsorship, you pawn yard pump chumpers? Please don't make me take on a dude who plays League or StarCraft. My org can't take any more shit players. Calm down there, Purple Rain. I'm good on the offer. The farm pays nicely for my bills. I wipe my ass with six mil every night. Why the hell would I need your petty money? And I just steal things if I want them. Who are they going to report me to? The president? Yeah, good talk. You're the only ass munchers who will turn down free money, you know that? Whatever, I'm out of here. I've got to go make a Galarian Ponyta take a shit or something. Peace! <laughs> I miss my dad already. I remember the days he'd load my rifle with a mag while assaulting me. Ah, uh, those were the days. I don't know what you mean by that, Joe, and I don't think I want to look into it. You actually have a truckload of new encounters available because of the surfing routes in Safari Zone Donald. If you could RNG manipulate a legendary, that would be amazing. Channel your inner Hitler and manipulate some bitches, Barack. Whoa, wait. Donny, I love you, buddy. Gang, gang. He manipped the king, the kid, the goat, the legend. <laughs> Toilet bird, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Gulp me up and absorb my spicy moisture. Yup, a gang, a gang, gang. We are motherfucking eating it up. <laughs> I did this for you, best buddy. Is it another water type? Yes. Is it four times weak to electric? Absolutely. But will it make my closest companion happy? If it does, then this is totally worth it. Why couldn't you run into something powerful, you bellsprout blowing bimbo? Literally anything except a water type would have been handy. As Joe said, summoning Hitler would have been more useful. Hitler ain't got shit on toilet bird. Call me Hook. Gang. God. Any gangers in chat? Okay, so what am I calling this big mouth mammy boy, Dumpy or something? If you don't call him toilet, I will abduct your whole family and bring my binoculars to the playground while wearing no pants. So basically nothing will change, is that what you're saying? To be fair, that little boy asked me to take them off last time, so it wasn't my fault. Stop it, Joe. That is just creepy as hell, man. Are you going to avoid this double battle by teaching somebody cut Donald? What do I have to worry about? My five water types plus peak will be fine. So what if a shiftry can sweep our whole team? I'm not ashamed of wiping out here. I thought the only thing you were wiping was your ass while Millie rocking. I wish you would treat your dementia more seriously, Joe. I don't think this battle will pose much of a threat to you, Donnie, so do you have your comment question lined up for the viewers? Great timing, Obama. Joe brought up Smash Bros earlier, so I'm gonna use that as a basis for my question, which is this. Viewers, what Pokemon should they add to the roster of the next Super Smash Bros game? How about if Laparass dies, he gets added to the next entry? Oh no! Well, that's a dumb answer, Sleepy Joe. Why would you even suggest Rick Gasly Gooch, you flary and feet fucker, please no! Quite frankly, I don't care who gets into the next smash, as long as Donut Chomper Trump here doesn't get to play because his gaming skills are atrocious. How do you nearly lose lap or ass against a fire and ground type? Please somebody explain to me how that makes any sense. To answer your question, B-Rabbit, you choke artist, I would add Swampert. He would be a bulky boy with strong-ass brawler kinds of attacks, but he could still have projectile moves like Hydro Pump or Earth Power. He would be like Donkey Kong, but actually fun and playable. Barack, just to let you know, I disliked Donkey Kong before I found out he was related to you. No hard feelings. Shut up! 
His final smash is obvious. He could just mega evolve into the Chonkmeister 4000 and go bananas on the opponent. No Diddy Kong, or as I like to call him, Kitty Dong. Why the hell do we let you in on these calls, Joe, you creeper? At least he answered my gosh darn question or Shifu Dark. Go read the Scroll of Darkness again. Speaking of Pokemon Mid-Sword and Wax Shield, I would choose Toxtricity. The variety of moves you could give this guy with his unique poison and electric typing would be monstrous. You could give him damage over time moves and stun moves, which would automatically make him a force to be reckoned with. Low key. His low key form could also be implemented as an echo fighter or as a stance change. His final smash would be his crazy gecko gigantamax form launching a G-Max stun shock. Now that's what I'm talking about. Y'all are tripping rapscaballs with your picks. If you want someone to join with an Echo Fighter, look no further than Zoroark. The regular version is a TM learning beast with access to Brick Break, Flamethrower, Snarl, Shadow Ball, and the list goes on and on. His neutral or side special could be knockoff, which could have the unique effect of having the opponent lose their item or charge. So if Samus had her charge shot ready to go, or if Princess Peach aka God Tier Waifu was holding a turnip and Zoroark used knockoff on them, they would lose their charge and item respectively. Then you have the Legends Arceus version, which would have bitter malice, which would make the opponent deal less damage. Sakurai, if you ever need help in the fighters concept meetings, you know where I'm at, my guy. Wow, I actually really like that idea, Barack. Here I was thinking you only wanted to add Zoroark because he is calamitous. Max, excuse me, Joe, what did you mean by that? Well, apparently it's politically incorrect to call people black nowadays, so I've started using similar words. Calamitous, dark, sprinters, and my favorite, thieves. All right, I've had enough. The gloves are off, buddy. I'm gonna smoke you like a cherim. Put him up! I ain't dealing with this absolute anarchy anymore, you son of a- Go! My fleet of safari balls! Well, that was pathetic. Why didn't you throw the food to make it easier to catch you, idiot? Wow, bait used to be believable. You could have gone near his swiney little face. That would have helped either. Wow, going near used to be believable. Shut up, you boom burster. You've got another three encounters around this area before you even think about ending the episode. You've literally done jack shit for your turn and are purposefully leaving the tough parts of the game to Joe and I. I would do Jack's Nesquik looking shit until the end of time. Rip two pack. I'm so happy they caught- Your brother's killer Barack, right? Isn't that what you were gonna say? Ah ha ha, good one, Joe. You're so original and funny and smart. It's true in the streets they call me Alakazam Barack, but that was just racist on your part. Sheesh. Oh my God, my prediction came through. You passed the swad loon spliffy off to him again, didn't you, Barack? What in Jellicent's name is he talking about? I literally said earlier that in the future, I see tombstones and this reindeer looking ass. And look who our capture is. Oh wow, you were right. This is game changing. An abysmal normal type that has absolutely nothing going for it. Your power is so useful, Donnie. On go bongo. The only good thing about this delectable looking treat is the fact he is already level 39. That basically means he is on par with our early 30s mons for what that's worth. When you put it that way, it ain't even worth a pick of my left middle toe. Some animals will pay pure bank to get a snap of that. Stop acting so weird, you glam meow muncher. This Stantler is kind of kicking your ass in the quote retweets right now. So why don't you activate your newfound power up and catch this guy? Like aids to a wiener, huh? It's a freaking Stantler Barack. This man makes Intimidate look like garbage. That's how worthless he is. If we catch him, we have a nice sacrifice to the pokey gods. If not, the outcome of this run will not be changed in the slightest, I guarantee. Leave Mew 3 out of this and just catch Adolf here. I can't bear to look at his goofy A0 sprite looking ass anymore. <laughs> Hold that tink -a tink thought for a second. What did you just call this guy, Joe? Nah, 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 nah. That is the funniest shit I ever did see. Ha ha ha. It's Adolf the Stantler, the most famous dictator in history, referenced by one of the most atrocious Pokemon to ever come out of the franchise. I love it. What's worse, the Holocaust or having Stantler stats? I just thought instead of Rudolph, call him Adolf. That's the reason I referred to him as that. Ha 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 ha. That's even fucking worse. It's Donald, yay! Finally, the real Donnie has appeared. Moby Dick incarnate. I bet he's got thick fat too. Joke's on you, Orangaroo. Whaler gets all the skitties. You know what that means? I get all the kitty pussy meow meow. Let's get it, gamers! Ah, ah, ah. 
There it is, officially the most cringe thing ever said in this playthrough, and I am absolutely dead ass about that. Did you hit the hype dance after saying that, Donald? Also, I'm more of a Passimian nut roller, just to clarify. Nah, I just hit a snug little nay nay while borking. You did not just say that. My soul is writhing in pain after that exchange. I'm not gonna lie, this guy seems like slimy booty clappers, boys. His moveset is pretty damn awful, and he has cute charm for an ability. Very relevant to the topic at hand, but logically it's not that great in terms of viability. Oh, and probably the most important factor, it's another water type. Like, come on, man. Don't write him off yet, Donald. He would literally be perfect for the team. As I said, he represents you in your truest form. This is Donald Jillian Dump Ketchup after you give him the greasy ass orb. He transforms into this humongous whale and proceeds to scar 40 boxes of 20 chicken nuggets. That's 8,000 chicken nuggets in total for anyone trying to do the maths. Pure facts, no printer. Still, there's no point in whining over it when you're going to be trying to capture it anyway, Donald. If you can just catch this guy in your final encounter down south, I'll take on Archie and the rest of Mount Pyre next time. You pretty much had another filler episode, but hey, what's new there? Hold on now, how is that my fault? I beat May, which progresses the story, went on a killer shopping spree, and caught the mastermind behind World War II himself. If that ain't enough for you, lower your standards a bit. The May fight actually isn't mandatory. You can continue the rest of the game without fighting her, and she even has different dialogue if you fight her post-elite foreign champion. You failed our safari zone capture, and by the looks of it, you're going to fail our Mount Pyre battle too. The progress you've made is embarrassing, my guy. Is that true, Joe? Where did you learn that fact? Have you tested it in game for yourself? I was actually the one who founded that secret message. You see, when I was able to stroke the slig goo five times a day, May's overworld sprite was my number one option to do it to. So I kept playing through the game like normal. And when I was bricked up, I would fly back to Lily Cove to unleash Dragon Pulse. You're welcome, did you know gaming? Shut up, you steeny sucking assholes. Now the whale is burned. He's on a timer now to be caught, but if you two keep distracting me, I won't be able to focus on manipulating the RNG. Oh, please. The only thing you can manipulate is either taxes or women. And I'd argue your skun tank shit at doing both regardless. Well, here goes my last ball. Hopefully this manip works like it did on Barack's mama last night. Ryoiki Tenkai. Get down! Nato Panchi. What the hell? You sabotage me. Barack, you traitor. Lord Suki Gruki would never disrespect me like that. I'm pretty sure I hit all the frame-perfect inputs, and you still got in the way. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to teach you a lesson, Donald. When you ascend your mortality and gain a new transformation, these are the types of powers you gain. The ability to guarantee but also fail a capture. To feel love and yet to give sorrow. To have power while also draining others of power. You see what I'm trying to say? Do these heavenly powers even show you why Stunfisk was created? Come on, Joe, you know there's no answer for that question. All right, rats, listen up. Don't make me go spreading Barack and Joe or dead theories around Lavender Town because I'm approximately eight seconds away from launching the Zap Cannons to your locations. Time for our next team member. I have a good feeling about this one. Call me Dimitri. Kill every last one of them. Rat, 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 snitch, rat. Tekashi, snitch, 6-9, ah. Uh. Oh, looky here, another burn. How about this time you don't let this chonky boy die, huh? That would be sublime if you could, Doland. Maybe if you stopped cartridge tilting the game, I'd be able to gobble up this tubby little chode. No homo. How many times do I have to warn you? Stop trying to face fuck the rats, Donald. They aren't into it, and you're just lying to yourself if you say you are. Well, it's all or nothing now. This is my last shot of redemption, no Red Dead. One way or another, I will cram this rat into one of my balls. I wouldn't celebrate yet, Donald, you guzzler, gimping, sweet kiss spamming. What? Not again! Congrats, Donald. You are officially good enough to catch the first ever Route 1 rodent. I'm proud of you. Why, thank you, Sleepy Joe. In fact, I'll name this guy 6ix9ine in your honor. I don't know why anybody would want to be even remotely associated with that snitcher, but you do, you guys. I'm sorry for interfering, Donnie. Thanks for at least not losing anybody today. I guess I should be thankful. No problem, Falco Obama. You better go ham next episode like an oink alone. Screech! Ree! 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 Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the President's Play, a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Today I'll be playing through Mount Pyre to progress the story a little further. 
DZ and Save Me have been trained up to evolve in this next battle, though, so it's time to start the episode with some hype. How are we, boys? I'm good, Barack. I just barely finished my 48th mukbang pizza from the local. They dyed them purple for me and everything. How are you today, Joe? I'm doing okay, guys. Actually feeling a little sad today if you two would be willing to hear what happened to me. Sweet. That's enough EXP for the both of them to evolve simultaneously. It's poetic, really, since I caught them both in episode one. Ha 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 ha. Remember that, Joe? Back when you weren't a sad sap sipper? We evolved a spherical water type, and we get an oval-shaped water type. Now that's Poetry Obama. Let's get it! This guy doesn't even have huge power, so his base stats are going to be atrocious. Obama coming through with the first of many L's this episode, I can already feel it. There's only one gender you're feeling here, Joe, and it ain't blue Nito Rands. I'm sorry, you jealous Maractus. Have you seen this guy's moves? He now has recovery with slack off too. So this man is going to be a staple piece of our deck. Shout outs to Max, see? Obama with a worse take than me, goddamn. It's still hashtag free blocky on Twitter in these streets. I can't believe Save Me is evolving into Palkia right now. The redemption arc is going nutty, FRFR. Oh, heck yeah! The squad is back, literally! This time we actually might see him evolve. Although that being said, Barack was the one who got him killed last time, so I have no hopes for this fella. What are you talking about? Squad 2.0 here is an upgrade in every way. My man looking like a Porygon too. He actually has Stab, and we have better TMs available for him to learn. Believe it or not, I foresaw this back in episode 10 via Sukuna's powers. That's why I didn't really care when our first squad died. Breloom Obama with the cap. I don't want to hear it. Cap, you were playing like Krusty Ducklet, dick. That's why Squad died. There is absolutely no way you could have known we would obtain another one. Have you seen our PC? I think we have every water type up to generation six at this point. So the odds of us actually getting War Turtle again was pretty likely. Thank you, Joey Bad A double dollar sign. Now I'm starting to feel sympathetic. So tell us why you are feeling sad on this very faithful day. Well, you see, guys, I received some absolutely terrible news yesterday. Something worse than trade evolutions. That shit gave millions of kids trust issues. Let's be real. Anyways, I found out what Jill's first ever Pokemon game was. It was Pearl. Over the years, it's become her favorite. For me, out of all the games, I probably have the most hours in Emerald. So, what's wrong with that, Joe? You differ in game preferences and genitalia, but it's still Pokemon at the end of the day. Forget about him for a second. I'm listening. Now, what starters did you pick? We both picked the water starters of our respective games. By the gods, this cannot be. Surely you had an SP? Nope, original Game Boy. Oh, fuck. Can someone please explain to me what's going on? I might just hit myself in confusion if nothing is done about it. Well, Donald, all is revealed in the ancient scriptures that the memes warned us about. She was a pink DS Piplup girl. He was a blue Game Boy Advance Mudkip boy. Memes, the DNA of the soul. That's very unfortunate. You had an original GBA Joe soon, but what does that string of words mean altogether? Do you not understand, Donald? It means they're incompatible. First, it's arguments over Pokemon starters, then it's sprites versus 3D models, then anime seasons, best Rotom form, dragon versus fairies, and finally Wallace versus Steven as champions. Next minute you know the kids in the White House are gone. Hope it was a good marriage while it lasted, Yosef. Glad to see you acknowledge the severity of the situation, Barack. I hope you come to terms with my pain and split it too, Donald, you dust clops groping chicken leg. One word, Sleepy Joe, skill issue. That's two words, you incompetent Piplup pumper. Leave my love for pumping Piplups out of this. How is DZ handling these battles, Barack? Any problems so far? Yeah, just two obstacles, really. One is this fat, sleazy, Probo Pass built orange fuck who won't shut the hell up. And another is a drowsy, drowsy kitty fiddler who can't connect with his wife's link cable anymore and is more depressed than a Q-bone. At least, Joe Mama's still alive and rocking them rog and rollers. My mama got shmurdered on the beat a long, long time ago, Barack. So please refrain from bringing her up. You want to be slave. You can drop the act. Donnie and I know you hate working on that farm. And you are only doing it because of colonization or whatever that stupid shit was called back in the day. Funny you mentioned that, Joe. All jokes aside, I love working on that farm, but I've actually decided to try and work directly with Snoop to start supplying my own giggle smoke. I'm going to call it Barack's Baby Broccoli. What do you guys think? Have you enacted the plan that we had been talking about, Joe? Yep. Operation Amazon Forest Fire is a go. Smokey the Bear won't save you both this time. 
Real talk, I have no idea what you flippy floppy wishy washies are talking about, but I don't see it interfering with my gameplay, so I'll let it slide. Can you two believe we are just two gym badges away from making it to the Elite Four? Victory seems so close, but let's not lose focus and mindlessly let team members drop like Hiroshima or Nagasaki. So kind of you to remind yourself not to play like snivy shit today, Barack. You really are going through some well earned character development. Ha <laughs> ha. Good one, Donald, but I more so meant the two of you. I at least have the king of curses and masterful designer of curtains on my side. You two still don't have your bullshit anime power-ups, so that's where you become liabilities. Sukuna carries you more than Maharaga carries Sukuna Barak. You and Donald have four deaths and I have three. And to be fair, one of mine was a Hail Mary horn drill, so it was unreactable. Even though you and Donnie are chilling with the same amount of tombstones, I can't help but feel more worried about you playing. I looked up to you at the start of this series, and now my endurance is better than yours. I've lost my idol and now don't know who to turn to in my time of need. I miss the old Barack, the work in the mines Barack. Where did he ever go, that dreamy, sophisticated, calculated, black and cracked Obama? Whoa, I blanked out there for a second. What the Tim Pole titties have I come back to? Is Barack not black anymore? Unfortunately, he still is, Donald. I'm going to skeet by that comment, Joe, you dome fossil looking ass. I'm just going to let Osama deal with these punks. Can anything really tank its stab frenzy plan at this point in the game? I don't think so. I see what you're saying, Obama, and I absolutely agree. But please be careful. That move's drawback of a recharge in a Nuzlocke is particularly scary. It's great that you can blow up the opponent that's right in front of you with relative ease. But if the next Pokemon in the back is a Night Slash Critting Houndoom, Osama will die. Is that what we want as true Americans? Is that a trick question? I want Osama to die. Haha, <laughs> we mean the Celebi Joe, not the terrorist. Yeah, I know, the Onion Fairy. I want him dead. What? Boys, he's boring as hell to watch. He solos the verse. How is that exciting? I hope a bullet seed pierces his fucking skull like the good old days. I hope a scissor bug bites his balls off. I hope Donald gobbles him for dinner, but considering it's a vegetable, there ain't no chance of that happening. I want some thrill back, some magic. Not a green goblin little shit carrying our asses through the league and champion. That's whack. I can see why nobody likes you, Joe. Hashtag onion fairy for life. Donald's right. It's Osama or nothing on these streets. You don't want to mess with us Celebi fans. We will leech seed your ass until the end of time, which we travel through. Bitch. Just to let the viewers know, there's been a new Discord created for the president's Pokemon community. It's an ultimate collaboration of Game Producer 6 that Hoopa Humper, Broadway CJ97, Dial Zan327, and Pokemon Presidents, your four favorite president tubers all in one place. How convenient. They'll be doing a collaboration video or stream all together soon, so make sure you join the new Discord down below to find out when exactly that's taking place. That shit is gonna be hype. You heard that right, Dill. Trump just absolutely butchered your name upon generating his lines, and GP ain't going back to fix that. Get styled on. Lastly, I wanna shout out the viewers. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions have made such a difference to this channel. So I sincerely thank you all so much for your support. Thanks for also private messaging me all those nudes, especially from the guys. Special shout out to Lee Gandhi. God loves a trier Joe, but he hates pedophiles, so I'm not exactly sure where you are on his tier list of humans. Go ahead and body this double battle, Obama. I can't imagine it being difficult, especially- Oh, heck yes, the glizzy munch machine is here. Strangle me with your loving mitts, Father Swoliali. Let it rip in my gaping butthole like a Beyblade. Hoorah! Joe, why can't you control yourself when this stupid blob appears? I'm always left stunned like a spore when you say that creepy shit, but you know what? I'll give you props. You kind of had some sauce with the melody you spoke those words in. Listen to me very clearly, fatty. There's only one sauce I'm searching for in my life. It's a purple poisonous, perfectly placed powder that perpetually pours perpendicularly out of my cheeks. Is it some sort of bluck berry curry, Joe? That would be a purple sauce that could top a dish off with the right ingredients. It's daddy swallets. Come, Barack, get with the program. Well, I'd rather suck off a scruffy rock ruff's tail. No homo? That was just pathetic Barack. You should have said you were crushing a mushy clobopus, bushy tushy, and or pussy. No homo! Why would I say no homo if I was smashing a pussy? Because it's still gay when two bitches clash. Oh, hot damn. That was some straight magmar coming from Donnie. Safe to say you got smoked Barack. 
and not in the way you like it either. I think one of these tombstones has your name on it, Joe. Call me The Undertaker because I'm about to send you to an early grave. I'd rather call you Booker T. Just makes more sense, you nick it. What the fuck? Give me my Glock. Give me my machete. Give me that fucking deagle right now. What did you just say? He said, Nick it, a baby thievel. Pokemon number 827. The Fox Pokemon. Smash Bros. Melee is a Pokemon. Please forgive him, Obama. He meant no harm. You're lucky you didn't attack yet, Mr. Biden, because I was ready to sucker punch your jaw. Boys, my comment question today is an easy one, okay? Here it is. Who is your favorite NPC in the series? Preferably an important or named character. Easy. Youngster Joey. Firstly, because I'm honored they named a trainer after me, and second, because he is a youngster. Yummy. Mine is Looker. I know a lot of people view him as a sort of gag character, but he actually gets stuff done in the games he is in. He arrests Sharon when he takes over Team Galactic for Cyrus and locks up the sages in black and white. Not to mention that post story in X and Y. Now that was a tearjerker, like if you cry every time. Boys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have an answer for this. Pokemon characters are so one-dimensional and prior to Generation 6, they were literally 2D. You cannot consider them real, fleshed-out characters. Suck my dick, Game Freak writers. Just because you are a fourth-dimensional NPC doesn't mean you have to go insulting literal pixels, Donald. Grow up, idiot. Okay, this trap pinch needs to go. Unleashing the ultimate grassroot flurry of frenzy plant. ka -ching, pow Oh, I swear to Christ, if a hound doom comes in, I will have your head barack. Please be a menace. A pure attacker will do the job. It's okay. This eggy weggy lump can't do anything major to me. Rain is up too, so I should be free to go. I sense massive damage incoming. Watch out, stab pedal dance, holy shit. Will you two stop with the dramatic pauses? You're giving the viewers a heart attack, no doubt. But yeah, like you said, Donnie, that was some beluga whale looking damage. I don't see anyone taking a crit pedal dance from this tropical turd. So let's thank God that isn't gonna happen to us, right? Oh, hell no. Are you trying to manifest that to come true, Joe? I didn't know you were a ghost type using curse, you annoying asshole. Well, at least I have a valid excuse for when Ziggy's skull gets blown off by the dance of the cherry tree. Abort the mission, Barack, abort. Tricycle is your only bet here. Nick it balls, this is intense. You better live, Ziggy. Getting Ziggy with it. All right, enough fun and games. Tricycle is going to steamroll this punk, and then we can forget this battle ever happened. Sound good? Sounds great. To be fair, Barack, Eggy is confused. Luck is literally in your favor. You'd want to really suck to die now. Who is getting sucked to death right now? And there it is, the water pulse, torrent-traced, rain-boosted water pulse. Man, what? Wait, we ate that up. Tricycle coming in clutch. I just found our wind convoys. Hooray, he found it. And would you look at that? I just found out some extraordinary news. I send you my congratulations, Donnie, because Barack is now leading in deaths in this series. I fucking knew Barack never learned how to ride a bike. Y'all ever hear a chokema? Chokema does lock run. Obama would know all about that because it seems to be the only thing he ever does every episode. Uncontrollable. The crit was out of my hands. Daddy might be able to eviscerate this palm tree with a crisp heat wave. I know the rain is up, but frankly, who gives a fuck at this rate? He should have frail defenses if his special attack is this high. Sure, see where fire gets you. There's no way, I just misclicked. No, no, Gah! no, whoa, no, whoa. jump pluff balls. Well, that sounded demonic, get it? Just summon him, Barack, summon your ass, pull your get out of jail free card, you lousy licky licky flicker. What are you talking about? We are so back. The next heat wave is a roll. It's like 92% in our favor. He is as good as dead. And I live another pedal dance anyway, bitches. Here's the moment of truth. One question, viewers, will it kill? The magic pixel. That man had the invisible focus sash. It's okay, you tank one and dish out the final blow. Eating it up, let's freaking go, go gadget. We living, we living, we living. Barack? Ain't no way. What just happened? Lord Sukuna-chan, wherefore art thou? Please, please help me. Ooh, ooh, I'm just a delicate lil simp and Omega Weeb. Please, I'm Suicune shit without your divine intervention. <laughs> Wah! Help. What the fuck was that? Did you just meat ride your own demonic dick? That shit didn't even work. Fraud Bama makes his triumphant return, ladies and gentlemen. He's even trying to let Save Me die to a pedal dance before the fight is even over. What is this bullshit that I'm watching? Look at me, Barack, you idiot. 
Don't you ever, 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 ever say any of that shit ever again. Your integrity and your respect just went out the window the moment you started to beg for plot armor. Maybe right now you are Rusty Crusselass, but that doesn't mean you'll always be a bad player. Please never stoop that low again. You know you're better than this. You right, but at least save me grow stronger, I guess. Man, I don't know. That is hilarious. The save me name still applies. It's like he's asking to be saved from that creepy copy pasta. That shit really ruined this Pokemon to modern gamers. Even I hate that dumb paragraph. Like, yeah, for the first two weeks, it made me rock solid thinking of what I would do to absorb a Vaporeon's water. But after that, it just became annoying. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of shutting up and fucking off, your mother is the most breedable human for humans? Yeah, that's right, get jabated. Well, its stats are as good as we can ask for, at least. I don't feel like playing anymore. Does anyone want a baton pass in? What, so you can pass your minus three skill issue onto us? Okay, that was too far. I'm only joking, Barack. Here's what you're gonna do. Lead with, save me, and totally dominate the rest of this mountain. He is powerful enough and at a high enough level that I can't imagine something getting in his way. You'll make quick work of these few trainers, grab the TM at the pinnacle, and then we can call it a day. After this episode, you should just relax. It won't be your turn for another two weeks, so you can rebuild yourself mentally. There's some amazing games coming out this weekend. Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Bros. Wonder are both going to be Game of the Year contenders. I can feel it. So walk away from this play session not thinking about the deaths you caused, but the deaths you prevented. I'll pick up the slack next time and we will have another flawless run. I'm sorry if I offended you with my words. I'm known to go a bit extreme when popping pillies. Same goes for you, Donnie. I just love you guys. I don't know how to express myself half the time. Damn, that hit deep. Joe Senpai. What the? That was the craziest flip turn in mannerisms I have ever seen. Is this what our ancestors foretold? The Joe humbling arc has begun? Not gonna lie, Joe. With that attitude, I wouldn't mind giving you the title of our team's leader and placing faith in you for this run. Statistically, you are the GOAT after all. Well, boys, as Troy Bolton, my lover, once said, we are all in this together. My success is your success. So I'm down to take over as captain from you, Barack. You've done amazing so far, but before your fuel burns out like a colossal, let me carry us through the rest of the game. Trust me, guys, I've got this. You're right, Joe. My friends are my power. The Wug Trio is back on top and ready to destroy whoever is unfortunate enough to cross our paths. Thank you guys for helping me get through my negativity. It's hard to get over such a depressing mental block, but we are in this shizzle for rizzle. Now you're talking Obama. Who needs the devil to beat a self-imposed challenge of a children's monster collecting game? Call me Freddie Mercury. Don't stop me now. Call me Freddie Mercury, because I'm having a good time. Call me Freddie Mercury, because I have AIDS. It's a serious issue at the moment. Yes, yeah, sorry, can't help you with that one, Joe. What is that TM we just got, Obama? Conversion. Pure ass, but mo' money for the big city. ka -ching. Here's the real morality questions we should be asking ourselves. Is it wrong of me to use my daddy's dead body to fly around the region? He's useless anyway as a corpse, so I might as well get one final use out of him. You're seriously downplaying what you can do with corpses, Barack? Control yourself, Joe. You've behaved so well all episode, let's just end it on a somewhat normal note. Go ahead and pursue the goons in Slateport as soon as possible, Barack. No problem, Donnie. My daddy will soar through the sky and lead us to victory. May he rest in peace or whatever? What type of milk did he bring back? You know what? As dumb as Team Magma and Aqua's final goals are, they at least get stuff done in these games. They steal a submarine and an elusive orb at the top of a cemetery from an elderly couple, and they manage to awaken the dormant Pokemon that they've been searching for. Hell, they even caused the catastrophic weather event that they originally intended. That's true, Donald. It's only after the fact that they realize how much of a screw up the whole thing is. Anyways, I'm gonna end off in Lily Cove for like the millionth episode in a row after depositing our newest casualties. I have faith in you, Captain Joseph. You will carry us on, my wayward son. I'm excited to see how you play next time, Mr. President. The Aqua hideout won't be that easy. One slip up and our whole team could die, but that won't happen, right? Ah, ha, ha. You've got this bestie old buddy old pal. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Just one question. Why do you keep calling me your leader? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last time I was dubbed the captain of this ship or something, and now I've set sail to find myself a musician. I want at least 10 crew members by the series end. 
So far, I have the fast food hunter Donald Trump and black body Obama as part of my team. Say hello, boys. I kind of like that title, Joe, not gonna lie. Next on the hit list is that witch Wendy. Anyways, glad to be here as always, guys. How are you today, Obama? I'm actually feeling so much more relaxed this time around. Um, I took your advice, Joe, and played a video game just to chill out in my free time. It's really made me appreciate life and its simplicity. So I have to start off with a thank you for that. Fantastic news. What game did you end up playing? Spider-Man, Mario, League of Legends? You told him to de-stress Joe, not play some absolute garbage. Well, I started my very first Genshin Impact account. And he's gone skinny dipping in the dumpster again. Barack, you are lucky I ain't right beside you because I would wake up, slap your tits until you started to realize your mistake. When did I imply that Genshin was the way to go? You really have strayed too far away from God. You deserve a beak blast to the face, you moron. But I just ordered my Venti costume from Amazon. Speaking of boys, are we still pulling up to the function Halloween night together? 100%. I just got my Street Fighter Rufus costume already. Can't wait to pull some schmicks ups on the hose that night. What is Sukuna dressing up as for Halloween Barack? Hmm, let me try remember what it was again. Oh yeah, maybe it was the fucking King of Curses, AKA the master of pulling Uno reverses. I mean, have you seen his true form? That man is scarier than any costume I've ever seen. That's for damn sure. As long as it doesn't clash with my Mr. Fuji costume, I might even glue a tombstone to my dog's head and bring him as a houndstone. Better than sticking a lit candle in his hair and calling him a griever Joe. PETA ain't got nothing on you, buddy. Speaking of getting lit, boys, I see Snoop is back in the party, so let's get this sucker started. I'm gonna make like a Luxio and spark a spliffy real quick. I know the viewers love when I start whacking the weeds. One time for the one time. Huh, this is awkward. My Hindu Kush isn't in its usual cabinet. Well, thank God I have my backup supply. Go bet, ghoulies. It's not in the pocket of my gimp suit either. What the hell is going on here? I can't believe it's come to this, Barack, but we had to step in like a quack of all. While Donald and I were double teaming Michelle last night, we politely asked her to toss out your whole supply of goofy purple Urkel. We dubbed it Operation Amazon Forest Fire because we were saving the trees from being sparked up like a shinx. Between the three of us, it was a majority vote. We are politicians after all, so you can imagine how erect this whole plan got me. Light a spliffy, more like strike a stiffy. Nani, you bastards. Snoop is going to die if I don't ascend to his muffled magnitude. I would say sorry, Obama, but you should be the one apologizing. You claim to be this goat at Pokemon, but the closest thing you've gotten to is a go-goat with the amount of grass you've been burning, no ember. I can't bear to see you spamming grassy glide and smoke your entire bag, followed by our whole team, looking like Gen 8 OU. No, no, boys, you don't understand. Snoop Doggy Dog and I made a binding vow, IRL, that if my dankness level was ever below his, then his Torkoal counterpart would be in trouble if we ever used him while I was sober as a sobble. I guarantee you, Joe, if you use him in a battle in this hideout, he will die. Please, don't do it. So this whole time you're telling me you were activating your blaze ability on this small of so that our starter would be safe for the whole playthrough? Okay, Joe, hold on, we might have misplayed on this one. Drugs are never the answer. That's coming from someone who pops like 28 capsules a day and snorts the freshest nose candy for breakfast. That's besides the point. I've been immune to your future sight like a dark type before Obama, so I'm willing to prove you wrong yet again. Dark types aren't immune to that move, Joe. It's typeless. Baka, it's a psychic type move, you absolute moron. You know what else is typeless? Curse, which is exactly how I would describe this conversation. Cursed. Why can none of you appreciate that your captain is sweeping every weak-ass grunt in this building with day one? I knocked out a blissy with a fire blast. You would literally never see that in a vanilla run of this game. So give me props, would you? Congrats, Joe. You know when to use Thunderbolt and when to use Fire Blast. Is there anything else I can fetch for you, my liege? A walkie slush would be highly appreciated. Peasant, thank you. That thing bleeding pee? I don't think Joe would appreciate a bleeding slocky whoosh or whatever he just requested Donald. Big preach on that, Donnie. I'll switch peak to the front, and unless these next battles are important, I'll just get our Snover-sniffing editor to cut us away to the submarine fight. These goons ain't shit. I have a bad feeling about this guy's first Pokemon. I have a strong feeling that it will kill Snoop. Spare his young, puffy life, Joey. 
All right, Yugi Moto, let me scope out the situation here. Seriously? I fail to believe in a million simulated battles that this thing could ever kill our Snoopy Whoopy Pooper Scooper. I'll use Surf to gauge the damage. And if Peek ain't too shotting, then I'm fire blasting him into the Shadow Realm. That's a fair play, Joe. He ate that up, unfortunately. So prove Barack incorrect and let Snoop handle this literal insect. Consider your other options. My hockey is telling me this guy can kill Snoop. I just don't know how. Save me is a reliable option or even Ziggy with eruption. Those two could definitely handle this guy. Joe, I will slurp the milk out of your nuts if you listen to my words. I beg. Temptations are at an all time high, but I'm going to go with our smoky friend here. If Beautyfly kills him, I will get a cleaver to stone axe both of my arms clean off. Ain't no way in hell I am letting a literal butterfly disrespect our fiery turtle right now. Are you witnessing this Barack? He's using detect plus sandstorm strategies, which he himself is not even immune to. If the chip from the weather knocks Goopy Snoopy out, well then I will seriously question Joe's skill as a trainer. However, I have complete faith in our newly crowned captain. I drove by the local playground this morning for about 10 minutes and I didn't even see him around the walls. That's true character development. That's because I've started hiding in the bushes now, Donald. The security never look in there. But let me get this straight. You were cruising around a playground full of mixed race children, probably ranging between the ages of five and 13 for 10 whole minutes. Jeez, what a creep. Wow. Okay, Joe, I don't think you can start using blame thrower like a lamp pen. You chandelier kids down to your basement on the daily, so don't diss Donnie about it either. Anyway, thank God this stupid fly is finally dead. The future is not written, Barack. How many times do I have to say it before it gets into your necrozma looking head? Oh, looky here, another fire blast victim. Shit, another miss. Oh, ho, ho, pump some of that copium into your vigoroth looking head, jackass. Yo, Barack, you light up that trailblaze yet? Um, well, you see... Oh, fuck, nah. How y'all gonna let me die in a kid's game? Y'all are fucking ass. Tangrowth tentacle toucher. I fucking told the both of you that Snoop would die. You'd think that would be enough for you to listen. But no, now we have lost our fucking pride and joy. Our starter Pokemon. I knew we should have boxed him temporarily until we got to the end of the game. Boxing your starter is such a scumbag move. I have zero respect for those who do it. What emotionless, heartless machines. You dumbass. Did you not hear him say temporarily? And what the stuffle are you talking about? You told us that you boxed your Empoleon for a freaking Luminion a few episodes ago. Oh yeah, but that's totally different. Lord Luminion has a veto for everything. If he committed a crime, instantly forgiven. If he started a war, he'd be given a Nobel Peace Prize. You do know he has the N-word pass, right, Barack? On God, if that waste of space ever swam up to me and called me the N-word, I would slice him into sashimi, served with a side of tatsugiri rolls, and of course, Toros cunt. I swear I should open a restaurant in Lumio City. I'm slightly saddened Paul's balls have been dropped from the menu, but at least the literal tor -ussy is still around. That shit is bussin'. Well, as long as you name the restaurant something marketable, you would make a killing, Barack. Have you ever seen what they are called in game? Restaurant La Na, La Yeah, and La Wow? That just feels racist to say, and that's coming from me. I don't know. Those businesses seem to be doing pretty well for themselves. The waiters gift you nearly 5K for winning a battle, so maybe I should follow the naming convention, but modernize it for Gen Z. How about Restaurant La Slay, where queens dine and kings keep their heads up? Ask our customers if the food is any good, and they'll say one word, yes! The food is to die for. Come to Restaurant La Yolo. Everybody's enjoying our food. Shouldn't you be too? Restaurant La Fomo? Wait, let's be inclusive, guys. What about a diner for Donald's people? Restaurant La Chonk? You'd have to open that in Paldea to avoid legal issues with food suppliers. Anyways, viewers, don't let these brilliant naming ideas distract you from the fact that Joe massacred a fan favorite, our goddamn starter of all people. Come on, man! He's sadly right, Joe. You messed up big time on that one. I cannot wait to see what the commenters have to say about you after this video goes up. That being said, you have a static encounter in the master ballroom, as I like to call it. There is two randomized Pokemon in there, but for fairness sake, I think you should just try to capture the first one. Once you beat this dungeon, there is a boatload of new routes made available by surfing east of Lily Cove. Great! So I'll get to catch another like four water types this episode. 
Why is it always when I'm playing that I have to catch that stupid wet ass pussy type of Pokemon? And this quote unquote puzzle is stupid as hell too. Hariyama nipples. I'm about to pull off a fucking fury kill with the sniper called Barbarical. I'm telling you, I got hands. Call me Tony Tony because I'm about to let off the chopper. WTF Joe. I'm fucking sick of this. I'm over this shit already. Viewers, this show is scripted. Every encounter is a water type Pokemon. Ziggy dies next episode. A spoink is going to assimilate Donald's ass in episode 23. Barack is a hacker. We never make it to the Pokemon League. GP looks like Buzzswole's anus. Calm down, Joe. What the vanillite fuck was that, boy? You Glaceon gagger, shut the hell up. None of that is true. Stop upsetting the viewers. This MF can't even see what Pokemon is right in front of him. And here he is making wild exclamations about the future. Pay attention, you mime junior muncher. This fishy fish has bide. We don't know how high his HP stat is, so don't lower it too much because it could spell disaster for Ziggy. This show isn't scripted. All right, watch this. Barack is going to snap out of a daze and crave Lantern's balls in his mouth. Huh? Sorry, guys. I was just imagining chugging Lantern's Dynamax balls in my mouth there for a second. Continue what you were saying, Joe. Oh, please, Joe. I could have told you that. Let's be honest. You were thinking it, too. Oh, they just look so juicy. He's got tail glow, so stay on guard. While that sweeping potential could be huge for us, don't let him show his power off against our team right here, right now. The DS memories, they're rushing back to me. That's not an excuse to start blazing you purple pussy. I better catch this guy's balls in my ball. What is with you guys and balls? Seriously. Balls, 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 balls. Great, he's devolved to just saying that word on its own. Hey, Joe, what's your favorite shape? Cubes, obviously. Wait, what? J, K, balls, 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 balls. We ballin', ball on him, balls, balls, balls gang. Well, at least you've somehow managed to stay positive while catching another water type. You have my respect there, Joe. Well, I still respect you as much as I respect women, Donnie. Don't get it twisted. Look, a freaking vegetative monster would have been so much cooler than balls. I know I have nut sacks and butt cracks on the mind 11 days a week, 26 hours a day. But even its grass poison typing would have been nice to have. At least you got some of your medication back, Joe. Your EVs must be through the roof at this point. Oh yeah, you best believe it. My muscles are about to start a revolution. I'm the strongest. My power is maximum. Are you the strongest because you're Biden Urugojo? Or are you Biden Urugojo because you're the strongest? Hot damn! As we begin to surf the 700 seas, I think I'll ask our comment question. The question for today is, what is your favorite Pokeball? Good question, Joe. Mine is the Jet Ball from Legends Arceus. A bit out of left field and a newer entry to the famed Pokeball list. But damn, is this a good one. It is literally different because of the unique gameplay of Legends, with its mobility being upped by a substantial margin compared to the regular Pokeball. You can yeet this sucker across the region to snag yourself a Bond Sly if you wanted. I love the fact you can capture wild Pokemon from a distance so you don't startle them and mess up your shot completely. My trick shot compilation goes crazy for that game. I must show you boys someday. Kobe! Oh, hell no. What was that voice crack? I want that man dead. That was so gosh darn embarrassing. Bruh! Another water type. Are you for fucking real? I've had enough. I quit this mono water run. Joe, cooperate with us here. Pick back up the pink Game Boy and please continue playing. I know it's frustrating, but we work with the hand we are dealt. Those who felt it, dealt it. You're telling me I dealt it after last Monday's meet and greet with that bitch ass 12 year old James? Curse that silly goose. Not going to think about that situation too deeply, Joe. I'll just answer your question. My fave is the quick ball. Let's call a spade a spade, boys. That ball is busted beyond belief. In generation four, the quick ball has a four times multiplier when used on the first turn, which is already one of the highest multipliers a ball can have. It was so handy to just one turn capture for the Sinnoh decks. Then generation five came around to fuck everything up as it usually does. But guess what? This overpowered thingy mub Bob got a buff. It then became a five times multiplier, which is honestly taking the piss out of capturing. That shit is a cakewalk now because of the quick ball, and that's why I love it. Stay mad, Twitter. 
It's kind of unfair that this Psyduck is my breaking point, but I'm genuinely fed up with this water type bullshit. I know it's the most common type or whatever, but this is just honestly ridiculous. I'm physically malding right now. He's going to be called Drown because I hope he drowns to death somehow. To round out the comment question, mine is the Ultra Ball, the old, reliable, and iconic Pokeball in its own right. When you see these bad boys hit the shelves of the Pokemart, that's when you know that you're in the end game, boys. It's just your standard Pokeball, but better in design and capture rate. I love that the yellow dominance in color is a subtle nod to the fact that some of the most powerful type of Pokemon are in fact yellow. Alakazam, Tapu Koko, Pikachu, Shuckle, and Mothim, just to name a few from the long list of powerhouses. You think Mothim is good? How strong is that crack you're on? Look at you, Barack, trying to substitute that Turtwig for some Garganackle. As we know, Joe is very overprotective of his knackle stacks. So you ain't getting some of that. What I tell you, boys, yellow Pokemon equals broken Pokemon. Now you must both be punished. I want you both to get scooped by this guy's spoons. Afton style baby. Ugh, fine. My fermented asshole is ready, Captain Joe. Okay, pause. What the Klefki cock did I just hear you say Barack? He meant killed by a scooper, like in the Five Nights at Freddy's game, you freak. And why did you have your asshole on standby like that? You might be the sus king after all. Sus or not, I'm gonna see the FNAF movie next week if any of y'all wanna come with me. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but as long as Matt Pat drops a zinger of a one-liner, I'll be satisfied. As he would say, that's just a hypothesis, a gay hypothesis. Anyways, I'm gonna slap this dude up a little with Ziggy before properly attempting to catch him. He's 11 levels lower, so surely he won't be able to deal that much damage to our MVP. Don't forget he used swagger on you, Joe. If you hit yourself, Ziggy is in trouble. It's me and Ziggy through thick and thin semen, Barack. She's got this. That doesn't look like she's got this, Joe. Fuck. Shit. Holy Ziggas in Paris. If you don't know, now you know Ziga. Man down, where are you from? Ziga. And Chewy, I'm some hot Ziga. Let me make sure my brothers come after you once this episode is over, Joe. You can't keep tossing that word around the way you do. You're right, it's very unfair. I owe you one. I'll let you call me a cracker or wigger if you want Barack. I'll give you the W pass just this one time. Not gonna lie, if I was singing along to a song, I'd rather say Ziga as a censorship so my pastry ass wouldn't get beat up for misusing a historically cherished word. I keep seeing this one video on YouTube of Roddy Rich performing The Box at a concert and the crowd sings along. The crazy thing is, the crowd didn't get any quieter when it got to the N-word part and there was at least a couple thousand white people there singing out loud. I'm not even joking. That video has come up multiple times on my feed. Now it's super weird. You know what's super weird? You calling yourself a pastry? I'm pretty sure you aren't even allowed to say cracker or have the W pass yourself, Donald, you Reese's Pieces piece of shit. I can confirm I never gave him the W pass, Barack. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter what color our skin is. We are all American, so what does it matter? What's your plan for catching this spoony, loony, creep, sleepy Joe? Damn, Donald. Back at it again with the white Crocs? I can't believe you ended racism just like that. I've gone ahead and flattered this dude so he can chip away at himself. I'm spamming tail glow to stall more turns, because at this point I'm confident any move on our team will kill him. I'm glad you were able to pull out balls from the box and use him straight away at level 33. That saved us a good bit of grinding. I'm sorry, who pulled their balls out of a box and started grinding away at them? No, no, you must have misheard me, Donald, because what All I right, said All right, my was... hands are up, I did it. You both caught me red-handed. Why do these dumbasses keep hitting themselves? And it's doing so much damage, damn it. I just realized that all you've talked about today, Joe, is balls in your mouth and you're behind and anywhere else you can stick them. But also that your comment question was about pokey balls. Say, where have you been storing your team of six when it's your turn to play, huh? I am legally not obligated to answer any questions to the press. I am the president, so I can shut you down and boot you off the U.S. soil, you scum of the earth. Move along now. I love how every episode is 50-50 on whether you either abuse your presidential powers, Joe, or you even remember what your job is. Quiet down, you flubby tubby and chubby landerous. For the last time, who the fuck is Joe? What an impressive catch, Joe Mechian, who has long since forgotten his name. What's the nickname? Probably Houdini or something, right? Nah, I'm gonna call this guy Lucas after the Mother 3 Protag. 
The yellow obviously reminds me of Lucas's hair, but they both also use psychic powers in battle. Mother fans unite. Of course, I'm joking because I've never played that slow ass game and only know Lucas because he is my main in Brawl. Game producer and I have both actually played Mother 3, and it is such a good game. If you like Omori or Undertale, then you will definitely like the Mother games. Those games PSI rock. The only mother I like to play with is yours, Obama. Can we get this over with? I am starving here and would like to wrap this video up as soon as possible. Do your little analysis, Barack, so we can dip like a chicken McNugget. I'd be honored to sign us off, Captain. Trace is actually a good scouting ability for a randomizer, so plus one point for that. He looks like a fast mixed attacker with high hit points. If we touch up his move set a bit, he might be able to provide a decent bit of firepower to the team. Alrighty then. I'm excited to play next time around. All in all, good showing today, Joe. One crucial death, but that didn't hold you back from catching some potent beasts that we can mess around with next time. I gotta hand it to you, bestie. Same here, Joey. We've landed in Moss Deep, so I smell another gym battle on the horizon. We gotta stay sharp, boys. I believe in us. Finally, the voices are gone for another week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to join the new President's Community Discord down below and do all the regular interactive stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And seriously, thank you all for making this journey so enjoyable. We appreciate it all. Until next time, have a brilliant day.